All right, here we go, guys. Trouble quest. Thank you for the lurk, cat. All right. Oh my god, we're starting over the retreat. Okay, so when we last left off, okay, um, Firefly said rest in peace. Perhaps, potentially. Um, same thing with Robin. All right. Uh, we decided to follow Aventurine, and we're a little bit sauce of Acheron right now. Okay. Um. So, yeah, I think, I think, I think we're ready to go, okay? Let's begin. Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Oh, we're really just, like, going right where Your we left aren't off. deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. But how is that possible? Could Robin actually... We look so angry right now. Hi, Miles, by the way. Well, first of in. all... Can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC. So they never lie. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Oh? Also, hi, RMG. Welcome Did in. Do you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any oh my gosh, the music. Any person will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Oh. Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper mm. could do that without the family's permission. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. Okay. Mm My interest was a foregone is conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? The fact that we didn't even see Robin die, like we just saw her like already dead is crazy. Odd, I, I appreciate you. Thank you for the lurk. Interesting though. Okay, this is really hard to take in. That's just one side of the story. If that's the case, I can't trust anyone. Hmm. Let's just say that's just one side of the story. I don't want to like completely dogpile on... Acheron yet until I learn more about what the heck is going on here, I think. It's fine. Listen to your gut. <clears throat> Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. Mm. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. That's true, but the same goes for uh, Aventurine, though. stuck on the wrong side. <laughs> if I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Right? Dude, he is so Who's pretty. to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? She's even prettier, it's crazy. Memo Keeper. I think our little deal is finished. Oh? No worries talking about the lurk. Telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Mm-hmm. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is... I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. Why is it in a I different told color? I just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC. You catch my drift. 
I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. Mm. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. Bro, that's so messed up. We'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's actually that's really messed fair, up. Right? So then, friend, I need your help. What kind of help? I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Hmm. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family, so they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions, and that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. Okay. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. Hmm. You want to take advantage of the family's trust in us? The nameless would never associate with the IPC. A decision like this is way above my pay grade. <laughs> Tevin, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. I love you. I hope you had a great day today, okay? Um. Hmm. You want to take advantage of the family's trust in us. Let's say that because I still really don't know. I feel like it's so hard to make a decision when I feel like I still barely know anything about, like, who is who. And I guess that's the point of Pentacle. Well, don't worry. But whatever. Just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Okay. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. Well, thanks. So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Oh my god, this is so sus, though. Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. What now? What are your plans? Mm. Black Swan. What is she thinking? Oh my god, she's so pretty, though, dude. I'm kind of sad I don't have her, but it's okay. June, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your night, okay? <laughs> Bacon. Oh, sorry, Willful. That's hella funny. He gave us pocket change. He did. He did. A few of us here who rush the story. Hey, that's okay. That's okay. I'm happy to have you guys here for real. Okay, Black Swan. Let's on see what's going surface, on. surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. Mm hmm. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. It's an accident, bro. But judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and mm. pull you in line with his way of thinking. I don't trust That's anybody right now, guys. And very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. The Nameless cannot turn a blind eye to evil. For Firefly's sake, we must get to the bottom of all this. Playing it safe seems to be the smarter move. Can I toss a die to let it decide it for me? Uh... Hmm. 
Shit. I can't turn a blind eye to but evil. I'm gonna say that one. Real evil. Anyway, be careful out there. Yeah, no, There's I literally can't trust a single soul, a bro. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions... <laughs> Classic gotcha move, that's so true. Did, oh, can I ask her all of this? Oh, perfect. Also, hi, Toro. Thank you for the 25 stream streak. I hope you're doing well today. Welcome in, welcome in. Okay, did death kill Robin? I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Unless she was murdered. Do you think this is connected to Akron? Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. But without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. Mm. It's like a venturing said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. After watching that animated short, I know why Black Swan feels that way, girl pops. Have you noticed anything else unusual? Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Yeah. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or... Everything has been planned out and executed by someone. Mm. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then it's these murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. Huh, okay. She is keeping it together pretty well. Also, uh, thank you for the lurk, Dark. I appreciate you. I don't have any it's other all questions. It's happened so quickly. I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this I confusion. think the only people I trust right now are the people from the ship. Or from, from the train. The other uh, nameless. Come this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. Girl. Okay. Speeder, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. People from the ship, bro. I didn't know what to call them for a second, okay? My mind is not minding. It's not braining. What this? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Wow, this place is so scary because all I think about is what happened here. This way. I know, right, Toro? This Same. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Like, what if I can't even trust her to get me back to where I need to be now? Lie. What we just saw is the reality mm. that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. I don't want to forget, but bro. follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. Black Swan gently touches the root of your ear, leaving a cool sensation. Then she hands a there card over go. to you. A small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Then, I have something private to take care of regarding that galaxy ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? Stop looking into I my brain, bitch! Look forward to them. Sorry, Black Swan. I just got a little upset for a second. My fault, OG. I don't trust anybody. You still at the hotel in the dreamscape? Have you run into trouble? We got separated. And is with the memo keeper. I feel so antsy. Stay calm. Do I need to get off the express and help? Yes, Don Hung, you do need to get off the express and help. 
Let me know if you need me. The Reverie Hotel in the real world is very calm. Not much is happening. I'm done. Where are you? Did she slide a worm into your ear? I think it was the card, right? It was kind of weird, though. The lady didn't do anything bad, did she? I don't know, bro. I don't trust these dudes. Sorry about what happened to Firefly. Hmm... Let's meet somewhere near the clocky statue leader. Okay, how about the now? Family rep. Is Himago okay? Ooh. It's numbered zero, seemingly absent from the Black Swan's collection. In the card's art, she casts her gaze into the mist of destiny. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Guys, remember, I'm gonna try not to teleport while I'm doing a uh, trailblazer quest and stuff for like my immersion purposes. <laughs> for my immersion. <gasps> Wait. Hi. All right, come on, buddy. They're so cute. She slid that into our ear, yeah, apparently. Apparently, hi Misha. I don't know how I didn't pick that up before. You guys want to hear something messed up? I basically have not done any exploration since the last time we did the Trailblaze quest. Basically, I have been like majorly, majorly slacking on like exploration and stuff like that in Star Rail. But it's fine, right? It's okay. I know. <laughs> no, yeah, I haven't. I haven't really done much. All right, I'm here. Where are my homies at? So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Okay. She is 80, Toro, yeah. No, I'm gonna save, yeah, I'll save all the exploration for when I really need it. Oh, some time ago, deep in the memory zone. Better get <gasps> that blade now, Ranger. Do you still dream, Hunter? Of those slain by your hand. <sighs> Days ago, Everflame Mansion. <gasps> oh shit! It's Duke Inferno! It appears the outcome has already been determined. Wait, this is sick. We're still alive. As are you. Oh? We still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, you'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. We come from the fire and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Okay. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Yo! Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young, and I don't blame them. But my flames are feet, and time is running out. Can you see? the planet of festivities in the distance 
I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, hmm. I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I On the have. path they have forged. Emanator. Yo! <sighs> you cannot hide your true identity. Draw that sword. For we shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death, for I choose this. Interesting. Destruction is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Hmm. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists, just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Dude, his voice is so sick. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called Impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. Hmm. <sighs> All right. I Hi, Laszlo. Bye, Laszlo. Enjoy your lurk. I appreciate you. you. Shall witness also, Icarus, welcome in. Hello, hello. Brilliant and intense fire in existence. Sorry, this is crazy may right now. This flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream a bottomless dream <laughs> yes that's right but you've made one small mistake oh this blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn it's a personal secret that i don't want to disclose but perhaps out of reciprocity she gonna pull it out she says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. Oh, shit! May death be the end of your boundless dream. Yo! You back to the waking world. I have chills. I, I have chills. In my dreams. I have chills. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances, but they can never cover up. Ooh. And you're no different. Guys, I actually have chills right now. You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the memo keeper away, but why? <sighs> did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. Uh oh. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything Ooh. beyond that is unnecessary. Wait, this is like, this is crazy. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege mm. of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire who exactly are Is she you? actually gonna say it though? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. Get a straight answer! Your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. 
I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Hmm. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So... I know who was inside that cold armor. Oh my god, I got chills. <gasps> I just got chills. How about it? <gasps> Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? I have chills, bitch. It's no fucking way. yet time. I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth Ooh. about what happens inside the dreamscape already on it and the astral express is no enemy of yours <sighs> we're an enemy of no one i know that i just never expected to hear you say it it does sound like What's the family's the final boss yeah the trailblazer's been taken by black swan will you go look for him no need for that no harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Oh. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. Wait. Okay, this is getting I really tried interesting. This in an easier and more direct Thank you for the hydrate, by the way, Spirited. Welcome in. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. Dude, this whole script thing is the crazy. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. Stop. That's Chills. It. Stop it. Before we split, Chills. can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? Oh my god, the red. I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. The red text again, you guys. Unfortunately... Not a thing came up. Dude, the red text with her freaks me out. I knew it. Hang on. I... Don't. Don't. What? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams? About everyone who died because of you. I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light. And to burn. To keep... On Holy burning. shit. Until I turn to ash. Yo. So, I really envy you. Is that so? Then you're already living in the waking world. The waking world again. I really like that they're showing us stuff without the trailblazer in it. All right, present day. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan, but we never expected Miss Robin to. Oh, I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. It's not your fault, girly Reality pop. Don't worry about it. Reality cruises on in serenity while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Mm. Let's yeah, that's true, everything, then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? 
Uh, indeed, we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put, in reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Hanakoni's going to turn into a bloodbath. Yeah. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. He really is up to no good. Aventurine is on guard against Indeed. Acheron. He was particularly concerned about that galaxy ranger. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Dude, I agree. I literally Look, only trust these three other intel people. First and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened that legacy uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective for real but before we start what are we going to say to the family and adventuring as i see things the family harbors no ill will towards the astral express if they didn't trust the crew they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal Hmm. Plus, True this is on. the family's turf. <laughs> That's so valid, horses. For us in the future. As for that Aventurine, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but. The intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let mm. them get too close. I agree. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So, you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. Hmm. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here, and I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. He's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> Bruh. It's fine, let's focus on the big picture for now. Um, hmm. Let's Aww, focus on the big picture. You're like a broken record. Bro, like we're gonna be uh, fine. Forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Okay. Then could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. No, Snarky Trailblazer is valid. Reaction was funny. I just like that for me sounds too much like you can bully me whenever March 7th. I'm, I'm not down with March 7th like that, you know? All right, we'll collaborate, Aventurine. Always open to pull for your game account is so freaking funny, by the way. 
<laughs> oh my god, he's just like me for real. <sighs> From now on, we'll all be in this together. Here's a small something for our upcoming partnership. Mm. That's it? Do we say that's it? I think we say that's it here. But Gallagher, though, listen, Gallagher, you already know my tastes, okay? You already know my tastes, okay? Do I like big, big cis vibes? No, that's valid. All right, let's do it. That's it? Psycho options, honestly, not a bad idea. That doesn't seem like much. Give me another 100k, rich boy. Let me see what you've got. Oops, I pressed send too early. Here's a little extra. <laughs> Wait, why is the high key funny? He said, mm, here's a small something for our upcoming partnership. 100,000 credits. That's it? Oops, I pressed send too early. Here's a little extra. Like, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. I need, no, like, where is the, where is the event screen in my life as well, bro? I agree. The family is going to sweep Robin's case under the rug for as long as they can. So her case is only a secret between us. But the other case, that depends on what excuses they have prepared for you guys. I'll take my leave for now, and I look forward to outstanding performance from you guys. Interesting. Dude, a free 100k? I'll fucking take it. 200k credits? Like, sheeshers. Looks like Aventurine is happy with this outcome. Let's tell everyone about it. Why is everybody standing so far apart from one another? Especially, like, Welts and Himiko right now? That I don't really understand. Sorry, I figured I would do that really quick, you know? All right, hi, Himeko. Avengerine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. That's like pretty crazy. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's gotta be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Perhaps he's going for the hotel. Perhaps he's going for the family. Perhaps he's going for Akron. Perhaps he's going for the Astral Express. Hmm. Perhaps he's going for the family? He's definitely going for the family. And it's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Penacony, and almost impossible to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Venturine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. Oh, I could pick all of them. An Perhaps he's going for the hotel. hotel guests? Unlikely. Let's just see what Penacony all of them say. Guests include quite a few big wigs known throughout the whole cosmos. Wait, that would be crazy, by the way. People dark. who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps he's going Aventurine for Acheron. has devoted considerable attention to her, but this Galaxy Ranger, we know hardly anything about her, and can't rush to any conclusions. Mm, valid. Okay. Perhaps he's going for the Ashel Express. Mm, I was also considering this possibility. Especially because he respects you so much and has sought you out before a few times. Perhaps he's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. Mm, okay. No conclusions can be drawn I'm just yet. just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, he's clearly a born gambler if he's willing mm. to go all in to win. He would love Genshin and Sorrel, for sure. It's so funny that they put a character like him into this game, you know? What is sparkling here? Oh, it's because of Clocky, I see. My fault, OG. Uh, watch us, thank you for the hydrate, I appreciate it. Welcome in, by the way. Aventurine said something that concerns me. Okay. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever. True, Dan, true. But said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. 
It was a groundless accusation, which only mm. serves to make him seem more suspicious. True. No worries, watches. I got you. I got you. I'm glad you're getting the drops. Um, <laughs> true, Wilful. Basically, just infinite gamba. I find it funny how you gamba the technique points with him also. I know. It's pretty sick, right? Um, okay. But why, though? Does Aventurine have other plans? He's bluffing. Hmm. Let's see about why, though. I want to see what Welt says. Maybe Aventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two mm. birds, one stone. However, right? I Can you tell him true? Hung back on the express to confirm <laughs> the story guess, yeah. The you guys are on the same page. And the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. Ah. Uh. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? She's a very gentle woman, a mysterious woman, powerful woman, weird. I can't seem to remember. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, I, yo, I have a feeling I'm going to go to try to say one of these and it's just going to say this one. Let's say she's a very mysterious woman. That's fucking crazy. That's so fucking crazy. It's literally like she's a, she's a black hole. Like she is just literally a void. Like, I think, okay, no, no, I'm not even gonna start. I'm not even gonna start, but she's 100% a fucking void. It's insane. <laughs> John, welcome in, by the way. No, the red, I think it's because, like, she's, like, nothingness. She's literally just nothing. She is, like, a void. And I think that's, like, might be why it's in red or something. Because it's, like, obviously we, we remember her. Like, I remember her. But I think we, like, are not meant to, and we, like, can't voice it. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger. Uh, it's so cool, John. I love it. Also, welcome in, by the way. Very eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Mm. Sus, 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 sus. Okay, let's go talk to March 7th. Checked off the list. I forgot about this, Loki. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead. But that she's still alive. The lady well. does fit her well. Somewhere. But everything's just some horrible prank. Oh, March, you sweet, because sweet child. Aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this shouldn't only good things happen here <laughs> too good to be true Whenever i see the grand theater, how'd you like the question i just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head this poor girl she's about to be traumatized do you think the family is behind all this no no after all they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape which everyone loves. I don't think that's they necessarily a super good thing. Like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Uh huh. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Yeah, right, Dan. True. Nobody knows what's happened. She is clueless. Also unreal, as if fire. Bet, John. I'm excited. Miss Robin and us. We're all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Not the soda, bruh. Uh, but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Uh. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's the turn our attention kind of to out. the family's assignment for now. Himiko, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that he witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. Okay. One thing I'm curious about is if a person dies in a Yeah, dream, this is what I want to know as what well. to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. Okay. How I think that's reasonable. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. 
I'll investigate those and but like what we can though? Wake up again later. Like what? Worth focusing on. I want to know oh. now. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Himiko's hair is so pretty, by the way. Huh? Aww, I thought I'd finally get to see Himiko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. He's like a grandpa. I love him. What a cutie patootie. Hmm. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? Stop it. This is freaking me out. <gasps> she no 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 I'm sorry she's scary okay I'm officially scared of I this bitch you, getting stared out like that I'm sorry I am a officially fucking scared of her bro I don't I don't I don't like it okay I was kind of scared of her before like with the whole like animated short and shit but something about this something about this really like freaked me out even more Okay, I'm, I'm officially not okay. Like, okay. And it wasn't even that big of a deal. Hi, Ev. Welcome in. How are you? You're not too late. You're okay. Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Well, you better stay safe, bitch. <sighs> is there something about my name? First... Don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. Yeah, I'm sure Honkai Vets went crazy. Some claim that you're the real culprit behind Valid. these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Panacone. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That Duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic pathstrider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. But how were they supposed to know? There were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that? black hole you're wielding don't talk to him like that don't talk to my grandpa like that Keen intuition not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane so you must surely know miss acheron that peering into a black hole is not a wise move let her know threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths i love wealth Reveal so much. your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Ooh! That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. I fucking love Welt. Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old... Sorry, I, I'm, I'm having a welt moment right now. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far... And I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Oh my god, bro. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions. Such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. Don't worry about it, girly pop. You, you don't need to know. Is he okay? <laughs> that memo keeper didn't do anything. Stop asking about me. You scare me. He's fine. Let's stick with the topic. Gaining my trust all depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around I love many him. different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone 
may be closely related to the trailblaze. Oh, that just gave me chills That's why a little I've come bit. To ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. Oh? If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? I don't think Walt ever introduced himself as y Mr. Let's Yang, did he? Leave it at that. Unless she was for listening now, from the I'll conversation before. I choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm -hmm. Did he say Walt Yang? Oh, my apology. Thanks, guys. Drink. Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No, four cups. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. Oh, shit. Let me in on it, bro. I want to know what the fuck is going on. Please tell me I'm in on it. Hotel in the real world. Nah, I've bro. I've been watching her closely for a while now. And the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. Oh? She just sat in one corner, keeping silent. Chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage. Not the taste of sweet dreams. Only for people allergic to Soul Glad. And she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. Oh, girly pop, this is about to get crazy. Also, Tebin, I could see why you were intrigued by that part. That was sick. I want to know why she was actually there. Well, to talk to well, obviously. But. An aesthetic you share. Ms. Well, ate her up, I'm not gonna lie. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories Damn, that, that looks linger sick. on it yet. The multiple POV is you see, amazing. Of you are not amazing. yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. The Annihilation Gang. That band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. She's so pretty, dude. Holy shit. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Well done, Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by annihilation. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. Yo. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest, away from the storms. Children of the flame, this box... The blanks are freaking me out. The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Wait, this is wild. I do kind of remember. Yeah, Dark. Also, hi, he. <laughs> Welcome in, welcome in. What happened? The 
memory after that is blank. How is that possible? Mm. This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought the it void. to Void. That's a fact. And that's how it should have gone. But along the way. It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? The emanator of the nihility? Who are you? Who are you? It's... No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? My name is Constance. Ooh. A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it... <laughs> Unforgettable time together. She was with the Annihilation Gang, right? But that seems unrealistic. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet store. And I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you. I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you unforgettable memories. Yo, this is crazy. Why, why did I just get scared? Why did I just get scared? A phone. Wanna listen in? Why did I just low key get a little bit scared? At this moment, on the other side. Oh, switching to adventure in POV. A few days ago, Wait, this is cool. Made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the marketing development department, and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter. The independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. That's kind of crazy. Core is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorno star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Interesting. Sigonia, <gasps> ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Land of rock, but Adventuring not backstory? Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. You promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. Dude, this is insane. When you took his father, my child, was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. 
Yo. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddle sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Yo. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? No, stop. Mommy, the rain. It's raining. Yo. Raining? Mom. Raining. <laughs> it is raining. It's true. Those outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Back home. Uh. Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Bro, this is crazy. <laughs> Darling, listen. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gyathra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. My boy. Yo. May the goddess Gayathra <sighs> close her eyes three times. Bro, this is low-key crazy. So this is a venturing as a Keep baby, right? Blood eternally pulsing. I think. Let you also, hi Beth, welcome in. Be forever peaceful. Oh. And your schemes forever concealed. <laughs> welcome to this sad world. <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. Is that Dr. Ratio? It's definitely Dr. Ratio. Wait, hold on a minute, guys. That's crazy. So that's Aventurine, right? As a, as a baby? Also, then you welcome in as well. The fact that Constance was aware via the memory kind of has me fucked up right now as well. Um, that's kind of crazy. Also, Hero, welcome in. How are you today? It is getting sad now, though. Master, welcome in. Yeah, I'm doing the main quest right now, the Troubles quest. Oh, I like the direction that HSR is going in right now, though. This shit is so freaking interesting. Why does the baby sound like they're 10? No, that's what I exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> was that not the baby talking like like the little child? I assumed it was But it sounded way older than like an infant infants can't speak, but it wasn't okay I, I literally just assumed it was but okay, okay Interesting 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 I wonder who it was then. I guess I'm gonna find out. All right, let's see this Dr. Ratio Aventurine moment. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. 
So he was oh, having a dream about his past. So soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's. Oh, we death. find out later. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Based this conspiracy theories. I'm so curious to know. Still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony, using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? <laughs> Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. I love these two. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. The fact that he tested <laughs> it is crazy. Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Hmm. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Mm. Besides Robin, there was another body. Well, I now he finds out about details, Firefly. Just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Uh, he must have come across the other one. Mm, Rex, welcome in. My day's been good. <laughs> How about you? Is a I don't know, Dark. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. Uh, we can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin Stannon was all ready to go. Uh, these two murders are definitely getting hushed up. What should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks <laughs> so soon? I fucking love Dr. Ratio. Well, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Oh? Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any mm. voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. How do you feel about the story so far? I am incredibly if interested in what's happening. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. <sighs> to get mm. to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Hi, friend. Welcome in. Right before my very eyes. That's crazy. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene. And the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the Hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are. Hmm. A probability. You don't like when they say meme? Yes, it's okay. it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a matter more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're <laughs> dreaming. Yeah. <laughs> but if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. Who? No. Sunday. Ooh! <laughs> okay. Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. Look at a little smile on his face. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk. 
but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. Batman's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The mm. show is about to begin. <sighs> We're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. I see a chest to my right. A fortress? <laughs> and a bird to oh, my I left. Like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. The what? This mansion normally belongs to Sunday and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. And look, I shall. Hey Sunday Doc, lives here? Side are you on anyway? Who's I'm not lives here, but I it's like his building mansion, out. whatever. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> when we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out. I can't wait to see Sunday again, bro. It feels like it's been Follow so long. Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. Thanks, Ratio. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Wait, this is cool. As the story unfolds, you'll have the chance to progress the story from other characters' POV. When entering a character's POV for the first time, that character will automatically be placed first in your team. You can check the fa Fate's Atlas interface to see which character's POV an ongoing mission or completed mission is in. If you need to change your POV to continue the story, you can select here to enter Fate's Ensemble. For more details, please see tutorials. Interesting. Wait, I love that they did this, you guys. So this is where we can switch a character's perspective. Okay, so we could go back to the Trailblazer, but Adventuring Dance Macabre. Ooh. Dance? 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 I don't know. Regardless, this is sick. Okay. Um, let me grab all the stuff I need to claim. I am loving this right now. I forgot to mention, no, right? Like, wow. Wait, look at him! Wait, we can actually use him. Wait, this is like high key sick. Um, honestly? Wait, can I look at his kit now? Shit! <laughs> well, I assume this means I get to play with him, though. But this is looking sick. Ratio's gotta be in the party. I could do that. But, like, Acheron. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. I'm high-key down. Does he still have his shit on him? I don't know if he does right now. You see him battle? Okay, okay. Asian guy, welcome in. How are you today? Like this POV adds more stuff to the story. Oh yeah, it makes the story so much deeper as well. I like being able to see it from different POVs. Um, hi Steph, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. Um, okay, yeah, we can put ratio in here, Keep it makes yourself, sense. yourself, gambler, and spare me the false display of concern. Wait, was that a custom line for the story when I put him in the party? Wait, that's actually kind of sick, no? That's... No, does he just say it in the story? Oh, fuck. Never mind then. I forget who I usually use with Dr. Ratio. Line for when Aventurine is in the party? Oh, but that's sick. That's dope. Congrats on the early Acheron after that, though, Asian guy. I'm happy for you, dude. Um... Okay, who else should I use? Bro really hates working with him, but I love it, though. No, I, I like that detail that they have in the game. I, I think it's really cool. Wait, why do I actually not remember who I normally play Dr. Ratio with, you guys? Can somebody help me? Who am I putting in my four slot? Um, also, Asian, I think you're the 45 stream streak, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm drawing, like, the biggest blank of my lifetime. You got E1, Acheron, and her light cone. Congrats, Eb. I don't have Silver Wolf, so I guess I could use Pela. I could just keep Pela here low key, and I'll probably be fine for the debuff. Wait, could I theoretically use Acheron here or no? Probably not a good idea, right? I'll keep Pela though. Look at them, two bros chilling in the hot tub. Time to pull for Topaz? Now I'm good, bro. 
I really shouldn't. I don't have the wishes for that kind of thing. <gasps> Wait, do that again. Oh my God, I love it. I can't wait to use him. Give me that. The snap is cute. I fuck with it. Are you gonna show us your closet full of blue, beige, white cardigans that you make aesthetically freezing? Um, you've seen it. Here it is. Wow. Yo, we can make him snap to a song or something. Did you get macaron? Yeah, I got her. Look, here she is. Here she is. I know, he's waiting. He'll live though. No, he's right here. He knows. We're doing things right now. We're kind of busy. We're busy that day. She's looking a little different? What do you mean? She looks good. No? Alright, let's talk to Hendrik. Look at this dude. He's gonna beat our ass. Hey, you no worries, Asian guy. Yeah, haircut. Haircut for sure. No entry. Oh, sorry. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He sounds so annoyed. He should have mentioned it to you. He sounds so annoyed. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. <laughs> Excuse me? Yes, Rex, uh, that is the how. The one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my... Full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the mobile knights. Oh, wow. Right. And as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. <gasps> I forgot to change my ratio build, guys. I can see the glory of the mobile knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, it seems okay. like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. All right, Loki, I love him. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. You can edit once out of this text. Yeah, and I and I shall. I put uh, some of his relics on my Jingyuan when I was using him in Memory of Chaos. So time to put it back. All right, he's good now. Uh, Sam, thank you for the hydrate. Welcome in, by the way. I hope you're doing well. Okay, okay. Let us continue. He should be good now, I think. Ooh. Scary, scary. Scary, scary, scary. No, I wanted to go get the chest. End. The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape with the mechanisms hidden in these nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. Okay, sounds On the previous reasonable. occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Okay. <laughs> course we can also use brute force wow why did he say it like that we can also use brute force like yes i agree no reward with no risk i'll take it wow okay let's go see what's going on here let me in with that Damn, why do we have to go so far? <gasps> Ooh. Oh no, not the fucking walking walls again, bitch. <gasps> A circular pool table is low key crazy, you know? I have to go where? There? It's been a while since I've done this, guys. I haven't really explored that much Penacony since uh, since the last story. I'm not gonna cap. I would really, you know what? I was gonna say I don't want to fight, but now I think I do because now I have a Venturine, right? So I want to see like what he does. 
Bucket you ball? Uh, always. Literally always. Feeling spiffy? Enemy data sick net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Let's can you find the answer? No. I've never heard her all in English before. A test. Zero points. Men so strong for sustainer, I love that. No, the shapes of shifting mobs are very cool, I agree. It's on me. Ooh! Oh my god, that's wait, that is a thick shield. Wait, I can't look at his light cone? No way. Okay. Ooh, crit damage dealt increases. Mmm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, this is huge. Oh, wait, I'm so excited about him. Okay, swag. All right, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, like, super excited about him right now. Whoa! Oh, my God, I love it. 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 I'm so loving it. This is sick. Um. Okay, let's see here. I have no fucking skill points. <laughs> knowledge, the measure of truth and same, Opal. Same, 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 same. Time for good old counter -attack. He might as well be able to use his ult on our wallets. I'm not even gonna cap. We have the I'm asking questions. A test. Zero points. Okay. W. W W W dot. Can you use his ult this on our wallets? I fucking wish, dude. Do I fight this guy too? Do I just fight everyone? Am I wasting too much time by doing that, guys? Because I, like, you know. I am definitely cannot E6 him. I would love to, but unfortunately, I cannot. Can you find the answer? Skipping Acheron for Aventurine? Really? Por que no los dos? Just get both. No? Answer me. Enemy targets detected. Just, just get both. No? Enemy data net markers activated. There are a lot of fights. Okay, I won't do all of them. I won't do all. I'll just do a couple. It's on me. Wait, I already have a shield. I shouldn't have done that, no? It's broke? Okay, that's valid. It's valid. I kid, I jest. Let's play. Your answers? A test. Do I ult? It's like literally not even worth it. I hit the Oh, that's what his normal attack looks like. Wait, I want to see what his ult looks like. Cast. Wow, the dies have been Bust. cast indeed. Or maybe I'll take it off. Whoa! Wait, that's kind of sick. I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see what it looked like. That was pretty cool, though. That was pretty cool, though. Sick. Okay. Um, I'll stop fighting now. I was just having a really good time. <laughs> Okay. Huh? No, I don't want to fight you. Leave me alone. Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Mm. But are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. There are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting oh, yeah, that's time dark. with you on this? Hi, Bibon, welcome in. To return on the path they came from. No, I wanted to stay there, dog. What do you mean? Okay. This one has to be facing this way. That one can stay as is. This one can stay as is. This one has to turn to the left. That one has to turn to the right. And this one has to face the wall. There we go. <sighs> Just as I thought. 
There's the correct answer. Oh, really, John? Congrats on the uh, 50 50 in the light cone, though. Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. Why don't you? Really? He's so <laughs> well, like, you'd get annoyed all the time, already. and I kind of love it. I was being sarcastic. He's so sarcastic. Can't you tell? I love him. Kind of sad I'll bench Daddy Japard. Just use him on the um, on the other floors, you know? No big deal. Is this where I was before? It is. I don't want to go there right now, though. I actually like Dr. Ratio. I love how sarcastic and like how much of a dickhead he is. Oh, impressive. Ooh, look at the city down there. <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. Hmm, interesting. Damn, Slim. <laughs> GG, bruh. Yo, Dark, try it. I dare you. Can I go in here? Should I go in here? Ew, the way they just stand there is kind of creepy. I'll do this puzzle. Wait, should I go down that door, guys? Or is that like a really bad idea? Is it going to take me way too long to do stuff? I should really just focus on story. Oh, I can't? Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, I see. I see dark. Okay. Thank you very much. So we can't go in here? Why is it glowing like that? Suspicious. What's down here? Or is that where I'm meant to go? I think it is where I'm meant to go. Far are you in the quest? I don't think I'm that far. I think I'm like mostly towards the beginning still. Okay, gotcha, John. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, I still need to go and explore more of uh of Penicone. Penicone. I'm not gonna lie. After the first quest, I like haven't really been back very often. Like, at, at least exploring, you know, I haven't been doing a whole lot of exploring. Whoa, wait, this looks crazy. Wait, this is kind of cool, actually. Okay, all right, well, let's continue with the quest, though. Let me, let me not, like, you know. Hold on. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? Did Are we heading like the birds? That's way. valid. No, but this door is locked. Is that what your Sims looks like? <laughs> My friend? Did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got oh, to I prove see, your Tom. worth okay. to Sunday Hi, before Tones. you can speak Welcome with in. him. All right, let's then. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall, or this place will be our prison. No. Oh. An escape room. <laughs> wow. My favorite. Okay. Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. Okay. Um, Lixie, thank you so much for the following tones. Thank you for the six months with well, Prime. I appreciate you. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. Bro. <laughs> Tone, thank you so much for the six months again. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing well today. <sighs> okay. Let's see what's going on here. Inspect the sand pit. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. Oh. Hi, Bijou. Welcome in. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Okay. Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? <laughs> Yo. 
I wanna break it. Just like me for real. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. Okay. Do one of these puzzles since I'm here. I feel like if I'm here, I might as well do it, right? Like, or is that a bad idea? I should probably skip, right? Since like, kind of takes me a while to get through the story. Where is this top, this top piece? Oh. Or oh, wait, no, yeah, that's probably right. Okay. You check his talents, not everything. Like, I don't think it's the full thing. I do want Jade's for Aventurine, but I also know that the story is gonna take me a while at the same time. So I don't know if I should. You can get out of my way, dude. Like, damn. But I like that the um, chips show when you, whatever. I have work tomorrow. I can't sleep like super late. <laughs> Unfortunately. Can you find the answer? SAS Perkibi. Bro, I don't know. Like, damn. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. A test. Okay. Zero points. I already have a shield, so. Wait, but I need to know how it works, right? Like, it doesn't tell you about. Does it tell you about his stacks? Um. Do, 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 do. Effect res increases, and when they get attacked, Aventurine accumulates blind bet. When Aventurine has fortified wager, he can resist crowd control debuffs. Upon reaching seven points of blind bet, Aventurine consumes the seven points to launch a follow-up attack. So, should I shield? Will that give me more points if I press E? That's crazy dark. No? Okay, then I'm just gonna normal attack. Because I don't think I really need a shield right now. I'm gonna cap. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse! I'm so excited for him to be in game, though. Like, so, so very excited. Okay. Ready for another? I hit the mark. The way that I'm not getting any follow follow up attacks on Dr. Ratio is so funny. I have to look at what team I normally run him in, but I can't check right now. So perhaps another day. Build ratio. You should. Um, Airline, thank you so much for the three months with Prime. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the Primes. I appreciate you. Get stacked from anyone that has a shield being attacked when a character in your team uses a follow-up attack. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Okay, that's super nice then. Um, when I'm solo is crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Is Ratio worth building? I think he is. I think he's actually a really solid character, personally. This is it. Okay. I'll just do easy exploration. If there's, like, easy stuff to grab, I feel like it's, uh, it's not a bad deal. NPC, very funny. Yeah, M came up with that one. I think it's actually pretty good. Kind of want to build Don Hong? Go for it. The the OG Don Hong, I'm assuming. <sighs> oh, really, Tom? Wait, no way. Um, I did not know that. I didn't know I got into that, but if if so, W. Thank you, Twitch. Thank you, Women's Guild. Okay, I have to go find the uh, other things. Hold on. Welcome in, though. I hope you're doing well. Okay, I got my scattered jigsaw piece. Was it just the one? I thought it was two. Oh no, I see. certified you as a woman i am in fact a woman real are you liking acheron yes i haven't really got to use her a lot because i just like used her before like for some farming but yeah i like her 
I like her. I think she's crazy strong, and I really like her her animations as well. I think they're sick. Um, you think so, Megan? Wait, that's funny. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, you guys, because I'm pretty sure that's a troll. Also, this uh, Robin poster is very, very pretty. Um, okay. <laughs> Can I do that? Oh, no, I can't. All right, well, let me go up this wall. Fingers on the button, it's okay, I got it. All right, I have to go back and get more charges. Go back and get more charges. I was gonna be weird. Yeah, don't be afraid to ban people like that, guys, because I feel like if we are actually on the like Women's Month thing, I feel like there will be weirdos that come in and do weird shit like that. So don't be afraid. Um, Rossi's Lover, thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Oh, do I want this right now? I don't think I do. Surely I'll be back, right? No, I probably won't. I'll be honest with myself. I'll be very, very honest with myself. I probably won't come back later. <laughs> okay. Let's play for a while. Let's play. I may not have any debuffs on anybody, but we ball. I don't think- have I ever fought those enemies before? I don't know if I have. Mm, it's on this guy. Yeah, I'll look, hey, Tom. Let me look, let me look. Um, so they don't actually let you look at a lot. They let you look at his details, like, here. And this stuff. And then the basic abilities. But I feel like there's- Unless his stuff is actually this simple. Like, I feel like they usually write a lot more low-key. Um, but this is what- what they tell you about him. You know? Click the question mark icon? Wait, am I blind? In details? What question mark? It is pretty simple. Okay, it's not bad. I think it's getting really good, Jesse. You had it open? Oh, this is a... This isn't a question mark. <laughs> That's why I was confused. Okay, okay. No, yeah, but it, just like his basic kit is there. Is that what you meant? Enemy data signet the magnifying glass? Zero points. Head your bets. Okay, we got enough shields, I think. Huh. Yeah, they don't let you see, like, um, relics or anything like that. Answer me. No, no worries. Kate, Tom, if you need me to you show more, to just let me know, me. like, if I missed anything. <gasps> Why is this crit ratio so good? His crit damage is definitely sure, amplified by, uh, Sparkle right now, uh. but... He's still kind of slaying. Watch your head. The dice have been cast. Bust. Watch your well, head is cute. That's actually hella cute. Wait, so now our crit damage is increased, right? I just saw the crit damage increase from his ult. Am I tro- 329.2 crit damage is crazy. Oh wait, also I didn't even put the, the sparkle buff on him. So I don't know what I was talking about unless it was from the ult. Um, also, hi Dale, welcome in. Kyle, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. I'm liking the story so far. <laughs> His best friend is Ratio. Real. Real, real, real. Your answers? My answers? Zero points. Enemy targets detected. Uh. uh let's Ready not. Let's another? save some skill points. Yeah, I'm not even at the best part yet. That's very true. I think once he has, like... I don't know what his build is right now, but I feel like we can get him to do more damage when we actually have him, you know? And that prospect I'm very excited about. But yeah, I need to get more into the story right now. Zero points. Oh, there's another wave? Okay. Like, fuck me, I guess. Damn. Okay, I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna. 
I don't know. Can you find the answer? Oh wait, no, that's actually okay. SAS Perkipi. Knowledge, the measure of truth. Hi Sky, welcome in, welcome in. How are we doing? Um, and triple seven, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. You know, I really should stop exploring, actually. I think I've decided I will I will stop the exploration. Ready for another? After this. Time for good old counterattack. I hit the mark. It's on me. It's on me! <laughs> Yo, I actually fuck with him so heavy. Your answers? A test. I probably should have checked to see my actual percentages for those dudes. We have a child now? Sorta. Something like that, yeah? <laughs> Just use Acheron? Oh my god, you're actually right. But I changed the party to have Ratio and Aventurine together. Thank you, Tones. I appreciate you. No worries. Don't worry at all. Have a good rest of your night, okay? Thank you for stopping in. Feeling spiffy? Can you find Okay, no more exploration after this. Unless I have Acheron in the team. That's kind of a different story. Answer me. Zero points. <gasps> Enemy data net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Should about to go down since oh, is taking me time to take a break? Yeah, please, please, please take it easy, dude. The dice have bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Bro, he Let's looks so sick one. there. I must attest. Okay, W. She's about to go down. Oh, 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 oh. I see. Okay, no more fighting. We'll grab this chest. We'll stop. <laughs> this hey, is ball. hardly enough for a seat at the table. Hardly enough for a seat at the table? What an interesting thing to say. What a very, very, very interesting to say. Interesting thing to say. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll do exploration another day, surely. Fortune follows luck. Yeah. Just like it always does. Investigate. Oh. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. <laughs> the two return to the lobby. Okay. Insert Gulliver's Arch into oh, the slot. This reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Oh, look. The gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? That looks interesting. It looks like the dream thing. He's talking about Lego is crazy. Okay, let's interact. This is going to bring us where we need to go, I assume, right? Hi, Selena. Welcome in. Oh, look at the big doctor ratio. Oh, oh good heavens. D did I drink? I am I still in a dream? Wait, this is Loki crazy. Indeed. Imagine. Oh, doctor. How are you doing, though, Selena? Welcome in. Huge. It's me. Down here. In the, the sand pit. Oh, actually... I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's no, college. No, this is and crazy. I'll treat the family just like that. <laughs> Gary. <sighs> Gary, please tell me you're thinking what I'm thinking, bro. <laughs> oh, fine. It's just kidding. Let's find a way to open the door. Why is this guy walking into a wall? What the hell? Wait, this is crazy. Wait, where's the giant doctor ratio? Oh, I can't see him. Fuck. Ew, this is like kind of creepy. Yeah, of course, Dark. Of course. You can? Oh! 
I was just looking the wrong way. Wait, it's actually a little bit scary if you ask me. Like, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit concerned. Whoa! Ew, this is so creepy! <gasps> ew, 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 ew. This is like kind of freaking me out. This dude really said, happy to be of service. Honestly, dude, same. Same, same. Like, wow. <laughs> I don't know, this is freaking me out. <laughs> I think that's the intention. But like, wow. Okay. <laughs> that's valid. Oh my god, all right, let's investigate. Okay, collect jigsaw fragments, I shall. It's hella creepy. Hello, welcome to the Golden Hour base model. Thanks. I am an Ope soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. Uh, tell me about the guided tour. Hmm. And tell me about the tour. Hello! Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. Ew! I am an Oak Soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Ew. Let me give it a model. kick. Happy to be of service. Gen aiding guide please wait patient kick it again this is actually like freaking me out it's kind of freaking me out a little bit Found the nearest check-in spot please look behind me a capsule uh, 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 sheen model. <laughs> model. Uh, 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 That's the funniest one. <laughs> After screaming, the soldier collapses. He didn't even have time to earn a five star rating from you. What's up with that? Now the family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. I saw nothing. Okay, damn. Ratio. Oh. He's just like me for real. This is hella freaky. The VA definitely had a blast with that. A I would have. Capsule machine. Oh, there's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. <gasps> oh! so, That's Loki scary too. I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Okay. Funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it. First thing in the morning. Insecure much? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Insecure much is crazy. Why is he calling him out like that? Wait, this is mad funny. Where the hell is this next one? Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, this is like... This is cool. Definitely scared. Dog. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I don't want to fight you guys, bruh. That one's hella funny. Save him! No! I refuse. I can't collect! Fuck me. Feeling lucky. Oh, I'm lucky. I'm lucky, bitch. I'm lucky. I'm lucky, bitch. The theater of the mediocre. Fuck you, asshole. Yeah, mom. 
<laughs> Aggro on time, she's not in the party! <sighs> knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. It would have been nice to have her right now, no, though, dude. Attest. It really would have. Zero points. Hm. Okay, we kind of ate that up, though. I'm not even gonna cap. Will be ready soon. The other one's still here. Oh, they got unlinked. That's oh, one crazy. of the fragments flew upstairs. I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. But it's tough. Okay. <laughs> Why does it say ha ta 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 ta? Like that's insane. All right, get me up, get me up. <laughs> oh great! There's another pinball machine base here, and it's empty too. Doc, I'll need your brain power again. There's no need to yell, I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall, like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. Dude, he's so fucking over it. Are we gonna switch to his POV or are we like. <sighs> Well, we Finally, are a moment of peace. Oh, okay. Story doctor ratio. So you're telling me this is not my doctor ratio? Why can't I just use mine? Doctor, shake a leg. Yo! Wait, can I see him in there or no? Neither one of us is going anywhere anytime soon. I can't see him. I wish we could though. <sighs> All right, this is like just simply not gonna work for me, you guys. Sorry, I have to change it. Gonna have to change it. Um, let's just do what I did before, but with I guess Lucha instead. No, let's keep this girly pop in here. I lied because uh, you know. Oh wait, I can just stream four. No, I would dead ass do this right now just to make sure I don't have to fight them. Like, I will literally consume a thing for my technique points so that I don't have to do this. <laughs> it's so nice. So, so nice. Do -do -do. Cute. That's it. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. Okay. Uh, craft the food just so you don't have to worry about the flights. You're real. You're so real for that. Okay. Wait, which one was it again? Um, I guess I can just look at them. Wish I could- Oh, I can filter them by- Would they be restorative consumables? Four technique points? Let's make like 10 of these. I'm not even kidding. 15. Oh, I got an achievement for that too. And then I'll do like- 15 of these, too, so I don't run out. Okay, cool. I think like 500 trick snacks so I can spam her technique without worrying about points. No, I feel that, dude. I am right with you. I already made, like, 150 bags for technique points. I've seen some people make some ridiculous amounts online. Hey, I'm I'm down for it. The other ones take HP. Wait, did I you do the ones that take H HP? Wait, hold on, let me double check. Um, which ones did I make? Oh, I made these, which we don't want to do, right? Like, just this one is probably fine so that we don't lose HP. Hold on, I'll make 20 more then in that case. I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. I'll make the regular ones also. Thanks, guys, because I wasn't reading the first one, but I noticed on the other ones. All right, I'm back. Oh, you're back. Hi, Aspen. Just Welcome in. Here. Hope you're doing well today. How are we doing? You. <laughs> place the model in the sand pit. Oh, this is like really crazy. Yo! I'm doing well, Aspen. I appreciate Thanks, you. Doc. I'm doing good. 
Thanks, so dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. I'm glad you're doing well, also. Okay, connection path blocked. Not any more girly pops. Just kidding. Okay. Hacker mans, I'm in. Aspen, this story is super interesting, by the way. I know you're not a HSR enjoyer, but I will say- Oh, Horatio, you should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. <laughs> Honestly, you could easily squash me with just a pinch. It is, it's really kind of scary. If that is your wish, I will do so without a moment's hesitation. It is, yeah, wow. Wow. Oh my god, that's fucking insane. <sighs> All done. Piece of cake. Yeah. Okay. Can you jump on a Dr. Ratio's body? I fucking wish, man. I actually wish. <laughs> Where am I going? This character is really, really cool, actually, Aspen. I, I like him. I like him a lot. He's just huge, uh, huge, just like colossal in AOT he is. <laughs> Wait, I can't do it to this enemy, can I? Wait, I don't have Akron in the party anymore. Hmm, do you know what, guys? I, I need her in the party. Oh, Forget yeah. about Sparkle. Sp Forget about her for just a second. Does it work? Stream four. It doesn't on that big guy. Okay. <laughs> Doing it together, we'd love to see it. Do we still have the upper hand? Okay, that's fine. I'll do it. I'll Anything do it. Net markers activated. Time for good old counter attack. Doesn't work on the bosses. Okay, okay. 25 glorious and wonderful streams. I love you, Aspen. Thank you so much for the 25 stream streak. I appreciate you. I'm asking it's only on the weak mobs. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But I wanted to try it at least. Zero points. It's on me. I weep for the departed. She's really not gonna do as much damage because I don't have another Nihility on the team right now and I don't have Sparkle either, but it's whatever. I also don't have fucking skill points. Ooh, two follow ups. Wait, we love to see that. Answer me. I was gonna take a second. The measure of truth. Two hundred. Let's go, Dark W. Zero points. Destined for oblivion. Wait, we're still kind of eating this up, though, no? Sure, I'll pass. The dice have bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. I weep for the departed. Wait, did that? Did his his ult also applies a debuff? It too shall fall. <sighs> All done. Piece of cake. I agree. All right, sorry. This is just not gonna work the way it is right now. So look who's graced us with their presence. Guess I'll be in your shadow now. Oh, interesting. John, thank you for the 25 stream streak. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> Spam Akron skill point to move forward instead of uh, walking. Oh, it's hella funny. <laughs> Keep forgetting 422 is dark. No, yeah, for real. I was going to skip adventuring just because there are so many people I want, but bro looks so good. I really like him a lot. I like him a lot. Sparkle being spicy, of course. Cake. They got beef, but I love it. I love you too, Jay. Thank you for the lurk. I hope you're doing well, guys. Please check out Jay, by the way, if you have not already. I love you lots. I really hope you're doing well. All right, let's go back down. Oh, wait. Could I have gotten myself back to that one from where I was already? I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter because I'm already back here. So, fuck you, ball. Yeah, Dr. Ratio is Hunt. Yes. <laughs> wonder if any streamer has banned a mod before for real not a joke probably 
But it had, it had to have been like a really bad thing though, I'm sure. Wait. And the joyous go. tour of Toy City has come to an end. Hmm, makes me feel sad. Oh, Doesn't Panacone make me isn't so sad. All bad, right? <laughs> I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. Yo. Aspen, can you look at this for a second? Look at this shit. Look at these fucking things. Isn't that like high key terrifying? <laughs> I'll be first when I get mod. That's crazy. This area actually genuinely freaks me out. And I know it's meant to be that way, but like it still freaks me out. Okay. Hi. It's it is a, a silly pity game. you made it out of the sand pit alive. Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Um, yes. Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Mm. Am I not sincere enough? There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of Interesting. death. Interesting. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. True. And I'll help him find they the They were murderer. like, not he real people, He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. Real? On what basis do you believe he's incapable? Necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC. Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Uh, um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. Mm, the but honestly, bolded the murder friends? case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, mm. but a secret negotiation. The IPC. We'll see. The IPC. Using Robin's death as a bargaining <laughs> nice ship, that. I'll win back my freedom and power. Mm. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. Mm, did you get the new codes? If I got one of the codes. the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well, <laughs> you can't win if you don't play, right? True. Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. Mm. Mm. I am so excited to see Sunday again, you guys. I saw one code. I don't know if there are more. Saturday and Monday. Yeah. Oh, I wanted that. It seems my puzzles <gasps> are too effortless for you. Hi. See, Ambassador. Hi, Sunday. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me. Look at his little Sunday. smile. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. 
Before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Certainly. But you ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Mm. Yes, the doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that Dude, you succeeded eye? in you overcoming that? many obstacles I just, just to that. me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must ask you. And here as well. You've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be. Witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. He's so pretty. Oh, you don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? Mm. If not, Hi, Flora, welcome then in. it means I'm hello, on your hello. side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. No, you weren't mistaken, for depravity is creeping in around you. Well, there's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penacony. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. I'm so curious how they're going to make her playable now after this. I suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know Everyone you is so hold sus, I agree. a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry, I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody, the bag of gift money, and... The box in which the cornerstone is stored. Hmm. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. Interesting. For an object so precious. This is an area of it dreams. It probably comes yeah. at an even higher Impossible, price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Avenger. You welcome in. Hello. When you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Of course. He's literally always but colon I don't. three. Because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. Oh. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Dude, he looks so sure. good. The gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for? What exactly is stored in it? Oh shit. Oh, triple 
blue-faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. <sighs> what have you done? Yo! Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. Yo! Wait, this is sick. This is actually freaking sick, dude. I'm so down. I am so, so, so down. Human, thank you so much for the two months of Prime, by the way. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <sighs> Yo. Peter, welcome in as well. How are we doing? <sighs> this is crazy. Ty, welcome in as well. Yo. 113 seconds is very specific. I love this man, guys. I I just love him. Let me screenshot him. Hold on. <sighs> Thank you for the screenshot. He's hella freaking sus, and I love it. Okay, let's continue. And if I refuse to answer, you'll you die. Try, and we'll see if the harmony rejects you. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Question. Question. Do you own a cornerstone? This is sick! Yes. What a simple answer. You, too, understand the bird? that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion, encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Ooh. Yes. Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? Yo, he looks so good right now. I'm so no. sorry. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? Yes. Ooh! All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? Yo. Yo. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting. Now. The final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? Dude, the bird has the same symbol as uh, Sunday, by the way. Hmm. <laughs> of course. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Yo, this is crazy! This is crazy! This is crazy! <sighs> oh? Please. Oh my god, this is fucking wild! Why did he make that face? Did he Are set him up? Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> Yo, the look on his face? System hours ago, do light pavilion. 
The look on his face was so Since good! Promised, promised, learned doctor. Does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? Mm. I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. Mm. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of... Oh, dude. Petty I think I love Sunday. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. He has such a menacing look in his eye, but a smile on his face, and I love it. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Whoa. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> You question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very oh. own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined something This is so intense. Way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. <laughs> Yo. Bring it. The box <gasps> containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. That smile? Okay, damn. <laughs> Fitz Patty thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. I appreciate in. it. I'm loving the story so far, Ethan. It's really good. A shrink is a psychiatrist or psychologist. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. Oh? <laughs> the golden stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stone Hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. Oh! So... Do you wish to confront him? He brought topazes uh, not with him? At the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. More precious than life itself. With a bunch of worthless jewels. Disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Damn! Okay, Dr. Ratio then literally just selling him out as well. Trivial excuse, downplaying the matter and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Learned doctor, 
I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a mm. righteous person like you. Wow. As for the villain. <laughs> it Oops, was all I thanks think, to your friend, I think I clicked King space. Nye, that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. Horatio, <sighs> you wretch. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Yes, oh, shoe pogs. Just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. <laughs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. Excuse me? What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> Is this what the Harmony represents? But Is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> You misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the Harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the Eternal Centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. Yo! <sighs> Sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours when the time comes compare your findings with mine if both our findings align or if you can provide me more insights then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty oh he's so like he walks the balance of, like, the smiling evil. Like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. They knocked it out of the park with Sunday, guys. Like, as far as, like, yeah, like, I'm gonna fucking cook your ass with a smile on my face and look pretty while doing it. They fucking cooked with this character. They absolutely cooked. I am eating it up right now. No, right, John? It's a very polite way to say join our cult or die. So real. <laughs> so freaking real. He's written really well. Hunter becomes a hunter. True, 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 true. Oh, they knocked it out of the park with Sunday, man. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the no truth. No same, Wolfle. That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with a stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. <sighs> Your bag is over there. Thanks, Aspen. Do as you please. I believe you can trade oh, this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. Dude, that like look on his face, like it's so good. That bird is really freaking me out. The bird with the this same symbol as Sunday. Or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. 
What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? I just got chills. 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 Kabasha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? Dude, the sky looks crazy. I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. Who can survive without it? But I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Won? What happened exactly? Tell me. Mm, that makes sense, yeah. I made a bet with them. The, the, the sister two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. The two birds in the desert They suspected and me, me of cheating, first. but I didn't. I won fair and square. But the music is crazy. <laughs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how Mom and Dad... <sighs> Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Damn. Because mom left you this necklace. <sighs> There'll be no next time. Yo. It is important, but not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gayathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Akavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gayathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Mm. Listen to me and swear to Gayathra Triclops. Okay. We'll swear to Gayathra Triclops to protect this wealth. Interesting. My sister, Gayathra Triclops was really watching over us. Then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? Bro. After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gayathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gayathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Bro. Mom was still pleading for Gayathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath till the moment she closed her eyes. That's really sad. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gayathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? No, we're returning to the Trailblazers POV. I'm not ready. I am so um, not ready to return to Trailblazers me. POV right now. Bro. The guy after Triclops is a long ass name, but dude. Okay, so basically, Aventurine got absolutely annihilated by Sunday. Like, wow. <laughs> like, absolutely fucking annihilated. But now, like, I feel really bad for him. I actually do. With, like, his, his backstory and stuff. 
But I'm very curious about this, like, throwing the world into destruction. Like, is that actually his plan? Is that... Like, I could see that, I guess, but, like... Whoa. Whoa. Okay, right, Aspen, let me see what you sent. Something, th th something to cleanse the palate after that. We should make this an emote, Loki. Any agreeers? Excuse me. to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. Oh? The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Enid, welcome in. Thank Just you. I appreciate I that. I hope you're doing well today. Welcome I'd in. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Oh? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators, such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Let's sit down, bud. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior oh, is detected. Oh, interesting. Is it possible to access these records? Feels like our every move is being watched. Yeah, that's a little bit sus, I'm not gonna lie. Let's just see if it's possible to access the I records. I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. Oh, we so can Gallagher. We gain access if there's a problem. Looks okay. like nothing can be found here. Can we see Gallagher in this quest? At I would least be down. We know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Sounds like that's where we're going. Thank That'd you be. for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. She does sound a little Fine? bit different, actually. I think what I even noticed it Is in that something sentence. Wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. This is going to be crazy, I can Ooh, tell. I'm sure. Okay. <sighs> Hopefully sure. everything's okay, Hyper. Oh, Take it easy, dude. Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss mm. Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. Yeah. Good luck, Enid. She's Good luck on your pools. Legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Uh, is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? The Garden of Recollection and Stellaron Hunters. Ooh. Let's say Garden of Recollection, I think. It is pretty good though, Hyper. Thanks for asking. Mmm. Yeah, kind of true, K-Tom. Okay, the Garden of Recollection, say that. abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by him, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. Hmm. The Garden of Recollection. Plus, is really good so far, Blazer. And I'm the enjoying Stellaron it. Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. <sighs> Who are you guys? Oh? The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position. Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. Fox, get moving! Is, is this supposed to be our, uh... Armed evacuation? Our, uh... Are you drunk? What is the word? You know. it's more when they way. throw in some comedy to break the, the heavy mood? Act first, Why can I not think of what it's player. called? Understood. Comedic something. Re Co yes, comic relief. Yes, thank you. I literally could not think of it. My name on the department's major disciplinary notice. I love their music too. Check it out. That voice. Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? Yo. To all guests. The IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. <laughs> Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones, or compulsory measures will be enforced. The cavalry has arrived, indeed, bro. Oh! oh! What's the beating 
for you lot. You've been told not to drink during work hours. Oh my god, Topaz is here. Take him back to the hotel room. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting I'll to see her. A meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. They were really funny in her story Unless quest, Topaz? I agree. I never thought I'd run into you on Pentecost. <sighs> Me too. I really was not expecting it. <laughs> Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Aventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. Huh? Do you know that he has your cornerstone? Yes or no? <sighs> it's fine. Do as they ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. <sighs> yes. All right. Hmm. As you see... The IPC isn't very popular here on Penaconi. Cordiality from the family Jesse James, is a maybe. Facade. The former frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC stuff now. You know, she's cute, Aspen. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the reality hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder Aventurine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The mm. IPC can't back him up in the dreams. Yeah, and he's got freaking 17 hours left His to live, basically. Isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. She does sound different. Perhaps you've had she really does. <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Yo. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Show us Gallagher. Show us Gallagher. Okay, let's talk to Topaz first. Oh, POV switched. Okay, swag. How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? <laughs> I bet you're not used to it. That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. Mm. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But... Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Panacone, I'm watching with keen interest. Hmm, because he's basically getting fucked right now, so I'm a little bit concerned. Um, he's that good, huh? It works only when all parties' interests are aligned. That's for the two cases. Apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. She has a really nasally voice. All right, let's go talk to them. Hey! We're carrying out our captain's orders. What, what do you want? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. Oh, do you? So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. I remember. Uh, remember me? We meet again. <laughs> Yo. Uh, uh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. Damn. Plants will thank you for the so follow, by the way. Welcome other. in. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? I've got business with your captain. Where is he? Um, let's do that That's one. Right. I want to see Gallagher. We're investigating a murder for the family. Can we speak to your captain about the case? Oh. Uh, well... Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. Oh? What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, th uh, that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. 
Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Mm hmm. Time well, to go. Why don't we just look for the security officer then. It's probably Gallagher, the one he mentioned, right? Okay, let's go. Um, I'm sure Himiko. I don't think the voice thing would have to do with something like that, personally. Obviously, that could be wrong, but I would be really, really surprised. All right, let's go see Galaga. Oh, such tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Oh, Gallagher. Oh, Gallagher. Oh, where could he be? He's literally right there, girly pop. Hi. Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. The, the gray-haired one. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly <laughs> on Penicone? Uh, that- this ain't it- <laughs> Yo, this ain't it, Chief. You've got the wrong guy. That's right! It's a me, Clocky. You're kidding me right now. I literally could say either one right now and be satisfied, I think. Really, Don? You must know this is so fucking funny. I'm gonna say that's right. It's a me, Clocky. Oh, you think you look alike? How about a clockwork Wait, trick? Are you for real? Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver haired girl. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Uh, uh. Uh. I'm not letting you get by this time. <laughs> Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> I'll have to get on my knees and beg Hold you is insane. Sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? Oh? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us. That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. <sighs> Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Everyone, please leave. <sighs> There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? Dude, we're this really guy's actually sorry scared. for troubling you. <sighs> Let's think of another way. Also, another I see a bird way. back here. I want it. Uh, that's it. Didn't they say something about that? Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? That got this guy to change his mind. Can you perform it again? That uh, clocky magic. Oh, so now it's okay. Just what I've been waiting for. Please. Let's do it. Me personally, I'm down because I see Gallagher up there. <sighs> Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's, no one's allowed, allowed through. through. Hi, mom. Everyone, please leave. <laughs> uh, you're also aware that principles sometimes don't matter when a person is in a good mood. Activate clockwork. say happy oh are there more like options you can do i see <sighs> let me see oh you mean the emotions now whoa it's this time already <laughs> what i'm time not surprised again and no one's gonna stop me honestly that's a mood and a half the highly principled member of the bloodhound family laughed heartily and left the scene what? Huh? Bye! <laughs> uh, this clockwork trick.
trick of yours. It's kind of dangerous. Very, in fact. <sighs> At least he won't be getting in our way again. That's so funny, Let's John. Let's go find that Gallagher Maybe I should have tried and it. ask him the intricacies of the case. Yes, let's. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Hey. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from Mr. the tone, Gallagher, sir. it sounds like you were expecting us. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I had an encounter with this gentleman in the Golden Hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there, too. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry for what happened. <laughs> Washed kid. warrior turned bartender? Stop. I love him. Sorry for what happened to that kid. Yo, okay, he's actually a sweetie PD. Like, wow. That's exactly what the family has ordered us to investigate. We are sorry, too. Okay, that's what we're supposed to investigate. Wait, hold on a second, you guys. Give me... doing any anything crazy what's up with this tie um it's a style choice no it's a style choice okay um that's exactly what the family has ordered us to investigate Let's this is also one. the reason why we've come to visit you mr gallagher the express can't just overlook the death of that child so we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it in the hopes of getting justice for her valid the nameless involved with the family what an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. Oh, juicy. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots? Little kids. He's aware. And inebriated fools. Yo, he's actually aware. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. But you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. Yes, let's, Gallagher. Let's go indeed. At this moment, on the other side... Damn, they're switching uh, POVs a lot. Even after that chilling tragedy, this dream is still oh, running Mama, effortlessly. Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe. Hi, Koniko. That could no worries. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate magnitude. you. The family itself is a huge, perfect building, like a living idol. That's pretty Each crazy. Each member of the it's family true, sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Mm. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Mm. Interesting analogy. Interesting. Perhaps that's why Penacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. Makes sense. Crit, well, thank you so much for the prime for five months. I appreciate limits. it. Welcome and I hope you're doing well and today. So and Emperor, welcome in as well. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. Mama. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. That's collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. Huh. The dream is crumbling, guys. It's getting serious. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, 
and only ease and pleasure prevail. They draw closer and closer to necrosis. That makes sense. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable mm, conclusion. Airline, welcome in. Hello, hello. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. The dream was sus I'm from the beginning, sure dude, for sure. I'm sure you've a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. And then quickly lets go in the blink of an eye. Hmm. Don't mind me, it's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. Mm. It's only when the sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. I see. Take your time. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Panacomi. Ask away. Okay. Regarding the moment of daybreak. The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. Damn. They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. Okay. Regarding the Gilded Hour. Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city. The economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running. Sending blood that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Blood that is made Everyone from money? Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. Mm. I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. I don't know mm. if they would open the vault door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky. All those around him continued on their way, unfazed. What? Okay, about the blue I hour. the blue hour is uh, very romantic. Do you have any tales to share? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Aventide, anchored along the Sea of Dreams. Where soft music and dancing persist. Sea of dreams, eh? I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long departed lover to return, waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Hmm. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Finally, we retreated to the beach. Okay, about the moment of dusk. The dreamscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism, the moment of dusk. My companions have been there too. 
then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money as if it were dust, and betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price, mm. and everything can be bought or sold. Even dreams themselves. Uh, Ralph, welcome in. How are I you? I saw an Intellitron there, who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid, under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding. That's wild. Becoming that person's very possession. That is so crazy. That Intellitron had Didn't been auctioned think follow, off a dozen in. times. And I participated in his 13th. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. What? I'm doing well, Ralph. Thank you for asking. This is what I've everything. seen and heard along the way. Okay. Someone once said to me, Prenacone wasn't like this a long time ago. Nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities. Watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, do the red text again? To seek to change it. <sighs> Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. Oh? There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. Oh? And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. Do the music? Yet, you stand here right now. Which also means that man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. Bro, W. Welt. And that I think man, you're right, Lehman. He was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend, soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea, and after that, countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Mm, this is Thank definitely getting to you. I know what you wish to confirm. Hmm. The universe has innumerable similar. Damn, I need to know more about Kevin, worlds. you guys. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike, yet don't. I, too, have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds. 
witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you Ooh, just Ooh, I told, have chills. It overlaps with my past and within that abyssal dream. I have chills, I have chills. I ended that man's life alone. <sighs> Yo. I am not who you think I am, nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey Yo. thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Then why exactly Ooh. do we even walk towards the light? Yo. Yo, 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 this is crazy. Hey, Ravi. Hope you're doing well today. Oh my god, the call, dude. Holy shit, they're bringing me back! They're bringing us back, they're bringing us back. Long time no see. Having fun on Pentacone? Acheron. This voice, it's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are, what you're up to my bullets will find you until then you best find a casket store on Pentaconi and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you imposter it's for him! i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so normal about Boohoo. i'm so normal i'm so normal I'm so normal. Sorry. Sorry. Don't mind me. Sorry, guys. My fault. Oh, geez. I'm good. I'm so normal. <laughs> yeah, Ravi. I'm doing good, bro. I'm doing good. <sighs> Yo. Hi, Katie. Welcome in. By the way, guys, please check out Katie if you have not already on YouTube. Katie, I am so excited to watch your Conry Lore video. It is on my save for later videos, and I'm so excited. Ruhel really is your Roman Empire. Stop it now. Stop it now. He sounds amazing, JP. I need to listen. I need to fucking listen. I need to fucking listen. I need to fucking listen. Um, okay, anyways. Okay. Next. I just need to continue. Same, Katie. I'm so fucking excited. Okay. Let's continue. I'm so excited Imposter. to see him. I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Who are you? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. I don't know I what him. you're talking about. You know, I'm so normal. I'm normal. You know Acheron, the I'm Galaxy normal. Ranger? Yes. 
I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? <sighs> That's crazy, Wolfel. That's so She's crazy. She's clearly not a past rider of the hunt. But you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Dude, I need to hear this in JP. Uh, well, <laughs> I'll be on Penacone soon. Uh, memo Keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's White Oak and warm it up. And I'll raise a glass to you. I fucking love him, bitch. That lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure. You best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not should exist. not exist? Oh, we're going back to inventory's POV. <laughs> Oh, bitch. <laughs> no, it didn't. You look pale. I'm not oh, a cowboy girly, I swear. I'm really eyes. not. It's just Boot Hill. It's just Boot Hill. <laughs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. Yeah, like, what is Ratio's yes, plan in all of this? And I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them, because uh. I'm the manager of this task. <laughs> Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Yeah, me too, Bibon. Well, my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family, and that they hold the secrets of Penacony. So, I took the opportunity to set everything Ooh, in motion. Interesting. Uh... I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this way. Oh, he's literally since fine. I through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. The way that I was so worried about him and he's literally fucking chilling Sounds is crazy. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. Unless? That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Valid. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired. Haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Oh, Dude, I need I to know what's gonna happen with him. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. Oh? You'll thank me. What's this? Medical advice? Oh, and that bitch is gone. Goodbye! <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> Oh. Asking me to solve a case without giving a single clue. How typical of you, you wing-headed scoundrel. 
I just realized he has a face on one of his rings. Way, you're all on edge about that stowaway. <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. I'm screenshotting this for the ring, you guys. I think it's kind of funny. Low key. Dr. Ratio is Batman all along. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. Distribute gems and ask around for clues regarding the stowaways. Wait, I, I actually wanted to read that. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Um, Mundanite's Insight. A most exquisite scroll holding a doctor's prescription within. Dr. Ratio advises you to only unveil it in a moment of life or death. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. MSP, have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. All right, let's 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 do what we got to do, shall we? Um, I think since our boy betrayed us, we say fuck him and we stick with... <gasps> oh! Why is it doing this to me right now? Because I'm taking too long? My fault, OG. I'm going. I'm going. Would you be willing to support my performance? He forsook us. We we and take him out of the party. Of alive in the cosmos? Here, I got these gems wow, for you. How fabulous! But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Well, you see, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream. Could you imagine, Biggie? That'd be hella funny. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. Mm. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the Reality Hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake mm. up. Okay, Tom, good night, like well, okay. Some sort of coma. Good night's rest. Nobody knows what caused it, but <laughs> right luckily then. the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Ah, thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May she pay protect us. May she pay protect Unexplained us. coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But mm. unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. Okay. <sighs> I can feel something inside my head. Is the harmony starting to kick in? Wait, that's fucking wild, dude. Okay, next. Uh, the world has truly lost its way. Here, I got these gems for you. You. Wait, I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a great show well starts. Lena Dachi, thank you for the follow. Welcome but in. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death, huh? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Now, oh, what a disappointment. 
The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. Sounds and familiar. You see of blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? Yeah, what else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. They even call this mm. junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. But buildings and lights. Hmm. I don't think those have anything to do with death. That whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. Okay. <laughs> Next. <sighs> the disturbing voice in my head. <sighs> It's getting closer. Bro, that's so creepy. Okay, Bachi. Hello. A sip of liquor. A blissful reprieve. To drown a thousand sorrows. Really big? Or really leave. dark? Bruh. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. Here, I got these gems oh. for you. <laughs> you? You're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. <laughs> or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. He is hella as drunk. As long as I have that so something glad, else. Nah, the death, that's bruh. Enough. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> you really shouldn't drink so much soul glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit, but not before meeting the Devil of Soul Glad. <laughs> the Devil of Soul Glad. Also, hello, Trent. Welcome and thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? How are we doing today? <laughs> the Devil of Soul Glad. Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse. Bro, <laughs> neck. Who's going through it? How are you, Trent? How was your stream? How are we they doing today? Say it loves to appear to drunk people, especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> How funny! <laughs> yeah, very funny indeed. Thank you. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Ugh, darn it. <laughs> now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. Interesting. Um, Akron Hipstrap, thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. He talks in eye rolls, he kind of does. I'm not even going to cap. And Trin actually seems like he does care about people even if he thinks it's a front. Yeah, I can maybe see that. Maybe see that. How is stream though, Trent? How are we doing today? Um, if this is spoilers for you, by the way, I totally understand if you can't stay. I am doing a 2.1 story quest right now. Um, and also, if you need to lurk, get food, water, whatever it may be. I appreciate you though. Thank you for the raid. And part, thank you for the hydrate. Welcome in. How are we doing today? Okay, I have a feeling some big shit's about to happen really soon, low key, guys. With Aventurine. Like his his condition, whatever the fuck is going on with him, is increasing. It's a little bit scary. Woolsey, head bloodhound guard. Hello, hello, Woolsey. I am doing well, part. Thank you. I appreciate you. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always okay. ready to help. Okay. Trent, go get some rest. Definitely go get some rest. I got these <sighs> gems for you. The expression on this hunk of a man was complex, as if he were looking at a mud-soaked sparrow unable to fly and nearing its end. You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. Uh -oh. <laughs> that won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. 
Interesting. Good night, Trans. Right, well, okay, then. thank you again for the raid. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Well, actually, I do need a favor. As the most outstanding hound in Panacone, have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panacone? We've never had anything like that before. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work, then. Hmm. Uh, what was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. I know, right, Lehman? Also, thank you, Parth. I appreciate that. <sighs> Damn. Ro is for real going through it. Okay, Uma. You want to talk to me? Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? Here, I got these huh. gems for you. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. So, are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death? It's getting uh, a lot more direct. Another curious soul. I, I agree, Parth. Sunday well, is kind of crazy right now, and I love the it. topic I was most into when I entered the industry, but my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. Okay. <laughs> Damn, dude. I'm actually so worried for him. No, she does part. But I think that even though they look like kids, I don't think they're meant to be kids. Like, I think they're actually grown or something like that. But correct me if I'm wrong about that, you guys. Because I haven't done any other quests relating to them either, so... Technically adults and some other species. I see. Okay. All right. I think yank this out, dude. What the heck? Where? Oh. Okay. All right. I think we go talk to this guy, Merchant Security. Hmm. Uh, were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry. I thought you were checking out something behind me. Here, I got these gems for this you. A gift? For me? Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? Yes, it's for you. Just take it. <laughs> is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but wow. for me. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. No, oh, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Um, neither. I just wanted to know if you've ever heard about death in the dreamscape. Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. Oh? He's an Intellitron, so... His dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm hmm. still under his protection. <laughs> How ironic. He's going through it right now, Opal, hey, for sure. Stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? Hmm, kind of hmm. sweet of him. The devil of soul glad, dangers in the dream, and nightmare ghosts. 
Well, surely death is a popular topic in this sweet dream granted by the family. Well, I've collected a bunch of rumors, but no mm. useful clues. I know, right? Dance him. Also, oh, Dev, welcome in. How we doing? Running low. Well, let's see if my last lucky interviewee brings some surprises. Okay. Oh! Remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Look at you, snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Is the smell of death oh, so hey. enticing, my fine fellow? Hi, Sparkle! <laughs> Oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You mm. really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now mm. that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into... <laughs> chaos? <laughs> well... <laughs> I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? <gasps> oh my god, the bird! Mm. The bird, the bird, the bird! I, I can't do I it. Say no. I can't do it. Hi, Merlin, welcome in. How are you doing? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now, and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Oh? Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Hmm. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth and the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying <laughs> I haven't learned anything so far. <laughs> That's crazy. You think you got it? Not I don't. Exactly. I, I'm not catching on yet. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Okay, buddy. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Panacone will go up in smoke. 
Hmm. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacony, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Hospice care is wild. Oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Pentagon. Mm. Good night, watches. Thanks so much again. I'll I appreciate it. Myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax... The walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. Oh, really? When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Mm. Catch you later, fool. Now I feel like I have to see this through to the end, you guys. <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? She has such a sweet face, but she's so crazy. <gasps> so, number 35. You're back. Like your new lucky charm. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, point? Okay, bet. you Sigonian hound. Dude. <sighs> the guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my ass. Bro. <laughs> are we clear? Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> That's you so came fucked. Out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Uh, aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. Can we kill this guy? I'm so down. But you look good. That's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't let your master down. This is disgusting, bruh. <sighs> How much did you spend? What? My price. How much did you pay for me? Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tanba. No more, no less. I'll take my chances. 30 tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanba. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, well, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're 
just a chip. A this was brandished into his neck, right? Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. That's why it like, kind of looks it's like it's on like fire, sort of. Like red. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. Bruh. That's so fucked, dude. That's so, so fucked. <laughs> what brings you here, Gallagher? It's interesting how they're weaving Aventurine's backstory into this entire quest. They're like showing us little glimpses at a time. Very, very interesting. My poor boy, I know, right? I'm in if you do, and I don't have work tomorrow. Fuck, I don't want to work tomorrow, bruh. Also, Ira, welcome in. I hope you enjoyed the quest. This is super fucked up. Very, very fucked. Hi, Nerd Sherpa. Welcome in. Oh, a nice guy. Makes us more attached to him, which in turn makes us want to pull for him. I was planning to pull for him anyway, but damn, yeah. We love Aventurine after this quest. I already love him, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. I was planning on pulling for him from the start. Oh, Merlin, this story is really good. It's really, really, really good. Um, and it, honestly, I can only imagine it's going to get better. So, all right, we're like roughly halfway through, right? It's taking me a couple hours already, though. I don't know if we're going to make it, man. We'll see. We'll see. We'll do our best. Rody, welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. All right, let's see what Gallagher has to say. I'm very curious. <sighs> Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spend. Oh, this character Ladies looks cool. And gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why is ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated oh, to yeah, I don't know about that one, Pogs. Joy and laughter. <laughs> what would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. I like this place. Oh, look, a lady as cool as Sir Ball. She's cool indeed. I think she is Sir Ball. It's crazy Who's to say that. Ball? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? Yes. Oops. <laughs> She's heard us. Yeah, Just you can see your Pablo welcome in. Bartender. How are you doing? I'll take over the bar today. Well, I'm okay. getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. He sounds like an Since old man. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. Okay. The discussion might take quite some time, so I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. Okay. In the bar? But... Aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at mm. your fingertips. <laughs> Dangerous. Oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. <laughs> Yo. Even Marge in reality, Loki fan mixing drinks right now, is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. Wow. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. Okay. Hi, Fetus. Welcome in. How are you doing? All right, let's collect ingredients for the drinks, I guess. Before we do that, I see a chest. Seek, and you will find. I'm a grown-up. That's crazy. Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. My friends! Might as well do this while I'm here, too. Chillin'? Good. How was your day? I did get Acheron. I got Acheron in her light cone. Was not the original plan, but we still did it nonetheless. Um, okay, hold on. I can only move this here.
Where am I even supposed to go right now? What the heck? This doesn't really help me. This is fucking me up. I'm not even gonna cap. Where? Oh. Okay, progress, I think. There we go, there we go. Okay. Blue Fox, welcome in. How are you? No, so Merlin, thankfully, I actually got uh, Yanqing and Acheron in the same temple. I got Acheron and then I got Yanqing, so now my Aventurine is guaranteed. So I'm very, very happy about that. Battling half a semester's worth of material in one night? Good luck, dude. Good luck for real. So you on YouTube shorts and I thought I would follow? Thank you! I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. That's very sweet. Listen to the fans of the opera soundtrack. It's so good. It's really, really good. Alright. Let's, uh... See what they've got, I suppose. Uh, check out this bottle! The liquid inside looks beautiful! And the label reads, Dream Syrup, Thick. I don't see an expiration date, but the production date is... Half an amber era ago. Mm. Ugh, yeah, she she does I share a VA with Beto. Good. She's really, really good. For sure. Maybe it hasn't expired yet. I thought we could drink anything in dreams. Let's see that. That's true, but... This really doesn't seem fresh. Not everything has to be fresh, though. Did you syrup I've been hoarding? Don't worry, it's all just a dream, and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years, and should have a refined taste <laughs> by now. Yeah. Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. Why'd she well, say it like that? Then we'll keep it for now. The more expired, the better, for real. Okay, dream syrup. Very interesting. Non-addictive tranquilizer, offering an ineffable experience of serenity and delight. The word tranquilizer in that really made me concerned. I'm not even gonna lie. I do. If you do exclamation mark discord, um, feel free to join. We would love to have you. Okay. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, no, and right, there's bacon? a note underneath. Exchange with your precious things. Oh, what should we exchange for it? And who should we give our stuff to? Give praise of high morals, give 50,000 credits, give a bag of trash. It doesn't seem to be anything that can be put in. Uh, I don't really want to give any of these. Yeah, go check, Wolfo. Guys, which one did you all pick? And did you like your outcome? Yes or no? Because I don't know which one I should pick. Pick the trash, praise of high morals. I don't even know what praise of high morals is. Okay, I think I'm gonna give the trash. Oh, really, Aspen? All right, I'm gonna do the trash too. I'm gonna do the trash too. Put a bag of trash into the empty cup. Hey, what are you doing? You can't just throw trash. Ah, uh, no way. The words on the note are changing. Happiness is the dream of the humble. Uh, does this mean we can take it? Okay. Something feels weird about this. Oh, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. Bright future. One day we will have a real house with a cup of coffee in her hand, your wife says. It will have a yard where we can grow flowers, a hall where we can dance, a transparent attic where we can gaze at the stars, and ideally a small dog to cuddle and fall asleep with. That would truly be the truly blissful life. You smile in silence and propose a toast. The warm vapor swirls and ascends, gently caressing the ceiling before dissipating. Hmm. Okay. Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Who the hell is that? Uh-huh. What's all the commotion about? 
Oh. Hello. <gasps> Himiko's in the corner. Hi. Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amaki? The Dream Jolt hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. What kind of proposal are we talking about but here? you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris' stage, not for this run-down shack. Come with me. We'll become the talk of Panacone, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Wow. Just... One Your design moment. is really nice. Yeah. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? Yeah. <laughs> Just what I've been waiting for. Yeah. I'm counting on you. Like, that's crazy. Like, we're really just doing it. And they're encouraging it. Before I do that, I saw this in the back. And now I have to pick it up. Oh, lost thingy. Okay, and then what is this? Uh, hey, look at all these chips scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. Oh, interesting. Really? Fading Eternity? Guys, how far am I from the boss fight, roughly, do you think? Without like spoilers about the boss fight itself, I, I think it's it's a Venturine, right? I'm assuming because I saw from the the live stream, right? But how far? Four miles is wild. I say no more. <laughs> okay. Nah, it turned out to an be hour. A okay, victory. okay. Nine hundred uh, years. High potassium. Said, opening a bar in this place filled with monsters is quite a feat. It is. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? I guess. Also, Blue Fox, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate out. you. But I have thank a you, feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. All right, I'll show her. I'll show her. I'll show her. Blue Fox, thanks so much again for the tier one. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, about an hour is not bad. Potassium, how are you doing, by the way? 60 to 90 minutes. Okay, that's doable. Hour and hour and a half. Okay, we can do that. <sighs> I am really curious about it. I'm very, very curious about... um. <laughs> Boss glad. fight, so maybe I'll at least but try to go to I that. I thought they didn't sell Soul Glad at the bar. <laughs> Let's give it a shake. Nice, it's still fizzy and has a long shelf life. Uh, maybe someone else brought it here. <laughs> That's possible. You see Soul Glad everywhere these days, so it wouldn't be a surprise if someone brought a bottle here. <laughs> Why <laughs> nice, don't they sell Soul Glad in this No, bar? I'm excited to get there too. Did something happen? It's all about the bartender's pride. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come mm. here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Valid. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'll be right, okay. Himeko. Also, hi, Princey. Welcome in. How we doing? Okay. Classic Soul Glad. W. Love to see it. All right, let's go freaking brainwash You're this lady. You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? I don't think so, Bacon. What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, <laughs> please dinner, for real. stop it. I'll never leave please until she stop accepts it. my proposal. Well, joke's on you, Billy Pop. Don't get I got magic on my side. This, place. this rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Siobhan just said anything can be imbibed. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can brew with different drink ingredients. Try reading her thoughts. She's Is she calm right now? What is she right now? She's calm. Mm, I don't know what I should make her. I guess we'll see. Um, no worries, Princey. Thank you for the lyric. I appreciate you, dude. Um, 
Yeah, I wonder what other teams could be good on the boss. I don't know anything about the boss fight yet, Eternity. Are you trying to be a gamer, my dudes? This update is crazy good. I'm enjoying it so far, for real. They always start off calm? Oh, I see. Okay. Um, let's make her... Let's make her happy. Boss clapped you hard? Really? I've seen it. The moment when Siobhan and I share the stage. The crowd is going wild. Applause crashing like waves. <laughs> really the aroma of irises <laughs> fills the air. A beautiful melody playing. Ribbons dancing around us. And the taste is sweet wow. and honey. I've seen that scene I'm so curious about the boss fight now, you guys. In my dreams, and every time, it mesmerizes me. That's why I have to bring her back to that world. Mm, no this, matter this what really it takes. This is actually insane a little bit. <laughs> no, you're right, Sherpa. Watch it's very neutral. Glass, my attentive listener. No. Let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched dream. Wow. Amiki poured Pika white grape soda into your tall glasses. Okay. She's um, still thanks. not leaving. Maybe I'll have to try again. I just okay. don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown check with no customers whatsoever. Get over it, girly pop. Let's make her sad. Let's make her sad. It's ridiculous, right? <laughs> Good luck, baby. Our Jeremy. paths were never meant to cross. Yet I'm still holding on to her. She's going through it right now because of us. And shy. Longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance because I'll never be able to do anything alone. Yeah, that's kind of fucked. You don't know Siobhan's past. And you have no clue how radiant she used to be. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill was unmatched. I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want is for her to reclaim her place. Hmm. I did triple sustain to survive the boss. That's crazy. Okay, I guess that She's didn't work either. Leaving. Maybe I'll have to try again. I guess I we're trying Angie's. Why she won't? Angie's it is. Here you go. You have just trailblazer for disdain? That's fucked. Those darn Iris jerks! Uh, they're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. Mm. It's all their dirty scheming. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master, exposing the crimes committed. Tell by me the more. Iris family, Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> swirling, making my mind clear, and bringing tears to my this eyes. This poor girl. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Oh, girly, I'm Here's so the sorry. For the Please. I'm so pass sorry. It on to her. I'm leaving now. <laughs> Amaki has left? 
Yeah. <sighs> That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. So I'm just taking her money. When you ready? Go to Gallagher. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. Cute. Akako is fighting for her life. <laughs> Wait, why is that so funny? <laughs> that being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. So go ahead, explore the bar, and bring me any ingredients you prefer. I'm pretty sure I did, nice no? Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now take your pick. Okay. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, which one would you like to use as the base? Uh. Soda made of fermented white grapes tastes both sour and bitter. It serves as an exceptionally revitalizing remedy for summer heat, and consuming it often results in sneezing and a runny nose. According to those who have tasted it, it feels like a cold hand pressed against your neck. Okay. Fuck so glad. Let's take the fucking tranquilizer, bro. I'm fucking down. <laughs> Let's do you it. You won't find a sweeter drink anywhere in Penicone. And that's what today's dream seekers crave. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. It All should right. give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. So, what's your choice for the adjunct? Let's see, shall we? Bright future? I didn't read these ones. The poker game continued, reaching the fourth round. The man could not stop himself from checking his hand. His confidence had long since wavered. A true gambler won't hesitate to call, even if the chances of winning are impossibly small. The young man on the opposite side of the table snickered, pushing all his chips forward. All in. Okay, sounds kind of like a venturine. And then, um... Insufficient active ingredient experiment failed. The scholar, frustrated by his 106,000 first failure, randomly poked at the terminal. Developing a new poison formula proved to be much more challenging than anticipated. If he couldn't produce results by tomorrow, his mind was overwhelmed with worry, leading him to knock over the test tube rack on the table. The liquids from two unidentified containers mixed, releasing a pungent odor. Odor. The 106,000 second attempt result successful. Um. I'm gonna go bright future, bro. I'm all about the good bright shit. Bright future. A taste that's been a long time coming. I'm going for the trash, bitch. I'll I love trash. The flavor that danced on my tongue as Mikhail whisked me through the dreamscape wilderness. Mikhail? Those were haunting times. Too beautiful to be real. Mikhail? Mikhail? Who's there? Let's pick a decoration. Mikhail? Yo, let's prefer? talk, Gallagher. Let's need, fucking talk, girly. Let's talk. Okay, uh, decoration. Let's see. Let's see the first one. circles. May you always remember where you started. Well, it's done. Mikhail, can we go back to the Mikhail thing, please? Here's to Have the same drink. It looks seeker. cute. This, this is my vibe. Of El Dorado. This is my vibe. I think I made the perfect drink. It's a golden dreams. It's a golden dreams, girly pop. <laughs> Yay, cheers. Well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. All right, now tell us about Mikhail. <laughs> so are you satisfied? Yes. Oh, the flavors. They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. Who's Mikhail? Mikhail. The layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Oh, that sounds cute, Maybe Dark. Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Does this 
true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? I'm listening. I heard this name in my dream. Yeah, that name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? <sighs> talk, Gallagher, talk. <laughs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. Yes. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Yay! Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. Oh my god, stop. I'm so excited. All right. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. Mm -hmm. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news. And the trickiest kind at that. She's dead. She simply vanished. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. Mm. As if she had never come to Pentaconi at all. Huh? Mm. Does that mean... Death eradicated her? Maybe things will turn out different than what we think? Is she a ghost? Different? Are you suggesting that girl wasn't actually killed? Come on. Aren't you a witness in this case? Yeah. <laughs> Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. I just dealt realized he has before. a paw print on his flask. So, you see that? Death does happen in Panacone, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Actually, I'm 11, Confronting so the, the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. Mm. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. Let's... You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has yes, received that, that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony, And thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. Imagine if no, you did. But I'm the officer in charge of this case. So how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacone mm. and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the Watchmaker an enemy for a long time. Oh. But the Hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Now Let that's intriguing. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting mm. you here and causing chaos? Hi, he. So you want to seize this opportunity to expose the watchmaker? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful huh. stain in the history of Penacone. And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. Oh, really? But what does this have to do with Mikhail? You don't get it? Well, I mean... Mikhail 
the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. Mm-hmm. I see. Sometime later. I think you're right, horses, yeah. Here we are. Clock Studios Theme Park. The most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Yo. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. Oh. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. Hmm. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners <laughs> intersected and overlapped. And people started Look, his eyes are so funny dreams, to me. Living lives that were almost identical to reality. I see. But everything has a price. And sweet dreams are no exception. Hmm. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, the great leader Hanu of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. Hmm. So the character Hanu is based on a real life person? History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. Whoa. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, that's kind of crazy. Why we're here. <laughs> yeah, Kips. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Suspicious, 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 suspicious. My friend, have we met before? Excuse me? Stop assaulting her, bro. That's what that sounded like just now. I want to break things. I see a chest. Oh! Hold on, let me grab chest first. And also this thing on the table. And then we go... We ride at dawn! Give me that. We're gonna find out, girly pop. Don't even worry about it. I'm here. <laughs> So many of them. I've never seen anything like this. Even when they're tracking down suspects. Can you convince them to let us in? We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Okay. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. Okay. The view here is great, Me right? too, Merlin, but I kind of like we it. We can see everything from here. We literally Including walked clocky. two steps to the right. <laughs> if all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. And we've seen Clocky, the animation, by the way. He's Hanu's partner and one of like, the founders that's of That's how we Dream got our power, Bell. right? Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. Mm. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the watchmaker when I met him, so maybe he inherited the title. Huh. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? I'm 13. <sighs> no way. Not even close. Hanunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. 
With limited resources, <laughs> threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Osdana was uncertain. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't take this quest seriously when they make this man stare straight into the camera and say, I'm 13. <laughs> Dog, there's no fucking way. Man, Joe, good night. Have a good night's rest, okay? I appreciate you. I'll see you on Friday. You're fucking kidding me, bro. He's just like me for real. I'm also 13. Actually, I'm 11, so shut the fuck up. <sighs> I love this man. I, I officially love him. <sighs> just be careful, guys. I think Twitch can low-key ban you for saying that you're younger than the legal age to use Twitch. So make sure it's known that it's a joke. What did I think today was Thursday? I don't know. It's the straight face. It's like actually the fucking straight face, bro. If Eddie's 11, isn't everyone else like five? What you trying to say, bro? <sighs> Yo. <laughs> it was a joke, so I... I'm not chasing the E6. I can't. I can't. Thought we were all little bro. You are, but it's different. It's like when I call you girly pop, even if you're not a girl, you know? Uh, with a deep ass voice, no, for real. Like, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's continue. All right. Hanunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him with limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts. The future of Azdana was uncertain. Okay. I'm not a girly, but am I a pop? Yes. Sinky Aventurine versus base 13 year old bartender. Bro, chill on me. Chill, chill on me. Girly pop makes me feel cute. It's because you guys are cute, for real. It wasn't until the watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into Ugh. the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name. Is he Diona? No, absolutely Thus, not. He became known as the father of Penacone. But didn't you say the watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you. No. I'm not his companion, but rather one of his many children. Oh? I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Couldn't they have at least given Just him a like full beard? like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Oh? Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. While well, they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Holy shit. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore Harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. Damn. The family accepted me and made me an officer supposedly as a form of forgiveness but it was actually a punishment since then i've been completely cut off from my partners and my past as for mikhail i heard he died in obscurity in a place where no one could find him that's when i realized that the penacone i once knew would never return I'm truly sorry for what happened but this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker. 
and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Imagine it's Mika. I would shit myself. Who could that person be? Is the watchmaker an organization? Unfortunately, hmm. after all these years, I have no idea who that person is. Or if they're even real. Misha! Misha, Misha. Or sorry, sorry. Mikhail's lost soul Misha! Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Sorry. Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. Imagine that'd be crazy. If only for the last time. <laughs> Thanks, Steph. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say there won't be many. Mm. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. <laughs> That's Thank you stop. for listening to this old dog. <laughs> Barking Oh, all. Gallagher. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Oh. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. Yeah, and you know what? We oh, haven't right. seen Misha in a while. It's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago. Hmm. Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. Indeed. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family. Also, and the didn't Clocky want us to go help Misha? Dreams and death. Before? Remember that? Haven't seen Mi Mika in a while either. He still goes on expedition with Captain Barker, perhaps. That Misha worked in the hotel, not within the dream itself. He does work in the hotel, but didn't Sparkle say to Aventurine that? He was in Penacony at the hotel? Or no? Am I misremembering that? Yeah, and Misha could see Clocky. That's a good point, too. Hmm. Do we even know if anyone else can see Misha? Misha was with Acheron, right? Was it Acheron that he was with? I, I can't remember now. I'm pretty sure they could see Misha, but now I don't remember. I feel like I would have to watch that scene again. Huh, I don't know, man. Akron couldn't? Ooh, I don't remember. It's been so long. Like, it's been a couple months. Now I don't remember anymore. Yeah, Misha's eyes are keyholes. I do think that's very interesting as well. Okay, let, let's see. So, um... Do -do 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 -do. Okay. And that the family isn't all united. Exactly. Let's continue. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably. I wonder who it is. Family. Okay. She could feel his presence, but she couldn't see him. Oh. That's so interesting. Mm, I don't know. This is hella sus. Okay. Um. And that death is related that to the watchmaker. With what we've gathered so far. Firefly yeah, I thought it was clocky the back then, but now I don't know. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Uh, and that clocky is based on the uh, watchmaker. You're really into clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. You didn't see what I saw. Speaking of which, that clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Real. That pretty much sums now it up. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Let's. Ask about Welt's situation. Not too bad, the Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. We're now headed to Dewlight Pavilion. Didn't Aventurine say Akron was dangerous? I've confirmed that she's on our side. Don't worry, please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. I hope that Welt is going to be okay. I don't know, Merlin. I think so. 
Oh, we're switching to Acheron's POV. Are your companions worried about you? Okay. They're just checking up on me. Okay, okay. Let's get in and get out. I know, right, Seems Rex? Like made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. Oh shit, bitch. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. I'm concerned. Okay. Um, I think I'm chilling with this team right now. We're in Acheron's POV. We're chilling, we're vibing, we're having a good time. Is this my Acheron? This is my Acheron. Okay. Swag. Oh, this is the room from before. Howdy. Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant No music, in yeah. Sight. Could yeah, that's interesting, Potassium. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. <laughs> it's valid, Looks like really. we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried it's right now. Moment. Oh? Akron draws her blade slightly. Within a moment, her breath became imperceptible. <sighs> Light. I've made myself less noticeable. Bated breath. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but... I can't come up with any excuses for being here. Mm. I see. What an interesting technique. I think so, Aspen. They're very similar, at least. And the birds are definitely related to Sunday. During exploration, using Akron's technique... Okay, yeah. Thankfully, I know this one. Stream forth. The gleam of Ooh. old blades. Wow. Slay. <gasps> Whoop-bam! whoop -bam! Sorry, guys. I can't help myself. I really can't. The model in the <laughs> sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? Hey, I've been here before. Maybe the heads and the footprints here are Oops. different from the rest. There are I should have waited. Sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Okay. Can you identify the people who left these footprints? Definitely a Venturine well, and uh, Dr. a Dr. Ratio. pattern here. Flamboyant, even. And judging by the size, I'd say these were men's shoes. If I'm right, it could be the IPC <laughs> ambassador, I would be whoop hamming. Aventurine. What about the other set? It looks South like they valid. were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other. So the second individual is likely equal in status to Aventurine. The IPC is eager to reclaim Panacone, so their presence here is not unexpected. I like that they actually have the print of their shoes, like their actual shoes on the bottom. It's a very like nice little detail they got there. Thank you for the hydrate, by the way. <laughs> that's crazy potassium that's hella funny <laughs> okay <sighs> I guess I didn't really need that one but alas Spring here we four. are the gleam of old <sighs> stream forth the gleam of old Stream forth indeed. Well, there aren't ah, this people motherfucker. In this They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Good night, Hyper. Go get some rest. All right, love you lots. Sleep well, sleep well. The game is on. Yes, it is. Feeling spiffy? Can you find the answer? Destined for oblivion. You chose the wrong enemy. I want to wait until we wait for Payla real quick. Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for good old counter. I like this music. Music is good. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Okay, she's kind of slaying. No. Let's play Eternal for a while. The dead return. That's half from the still waters of oblivion. I'll see you off. <laughs> I'll go easy with feeling spiffy. Destined for oblivion. You chose the world. Ready for another? 
Netmarker's activated. Time for a good old counterattack. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you know. <laughs> I'm playing with speed up. It just feels too slow without, you know? I weep for the departed. 200 k Yeah, she's not even finished being built, right? She's kind of slaying all things considered. It too shall fall. Look, it dropped something. Oh? A note. It looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Uh, seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The mm. Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. Hmm. Interesting. That's valid eternity. Okay. No one here either. Since no one's around to entertain. Oh, the chest I couldn't get before. Home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. Interesting that it's called white. Ooh, a letter from Robin. Dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Dewlight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrained from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Penacony, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations, using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. Eventually, I re realized that the harmony in Penacony is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings, or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to the latter conclusion. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family in Penacony, and it is highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. With the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You are the only true family member I have left. There is another matter that requires our attention. During my investigation, I learned about the Memory Zone meme, Death, and my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause this series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I've collected more clues and am prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparations for the Charmony Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated Death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. Oh, girly pop, you have got to be kidding me. Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality when you are free. I've brought some more specialties from other galaxies. Gi gi giant moa pudding tarts from Murillans, wild strawberries from Aconyaco, known for their exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you'll enjoy, and almond meringue cream cracknels from Medicia. Don't forget to enjoy them. May Shipe be with us. Your sister, Robin. Bro. So I'm guessing she sent this right before she died. That's really fucked. So she alerted Sunday to the fact that there is a traitor within the family. So I'm wondering how Sunday is planning to like as as uncover the this. The crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday with Aventurine and Robin also. Us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice uh-huh and now it seems i was right robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow but as far as i know 
There aren't many entities capable of interfering mm. with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position Yo. or possess unimaginable strength. So why Sunday's furious? I mean, yeah, aside from Mr. the fact Sunday that it's his sister, been right? Such difficulty in catching the traitor. Hmm. Okay. Very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Okay. Let's just circle around. That looks like a chess piece, no? It's kind of suspicious. Okay, let's read these two. This light cone is securely guarded. It oh. must hold some important memories. According to Robin's interview, Baby Sunday. despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother. That's so when they cute. Were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah, time is a way of smoothing things out. Damn, this is the hella cute. dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Okay, last one. Okay, list of death's victims. Okay, Anseral, a male Helovian, was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach in the moment of Oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. Note, this was the first case. Can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation? Okay. Mori, a male from Shunjo. Shun Shunjo? I still can never say that right, bro, I swear. Entered a spheroid in golden hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spheroid was bouncing in air. Later examination showed no signs of forced entry or exit on the spheroid. Note, it seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation methods feasible? Okay. Emaka, a female human, participated in a talent show in the moment of scorched sand but accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared in the shadows below. The footage for that episode of the show has been deleted. Note, the culprit is swift and skilled at disguises. Caution is advised. Adam, welcome in. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. Um, just read the note. No, I like reading everything. I'ma read it. I'ma read it. Okay. Um... Weber, a male Pepeshi, fell down when entering his office on payday in Gilded Hour and was killed by an unknown meme that suddenly appeared. The memories of witnesses have been processed. Note, preferring to attack wounded or vulnerable individuals? Uncertain. Maybe taking orders from someone else. Kemet, a male Pepeshi, was taken away while flipping over a card at a casino in the moment of stars. The casino staff has dealt with the aftermath of the incident. Note flipping a card. Interesting. Deckham, a male human, jumped into the ocean of dream bubbles in Blue Hour in an attempt to impress his girlfriend, but got entangled by an unknown meme under the sea and drowned. His girlfriend's memories have been processed, but the outcomes are not satisfactory. Further in intervention from motivators may be necessary. Note, most cases are related to the ocean. Could this be a breakthrough? Additional note, scratch that. After checking, only two cases were related to the ocean. Kaishia, a female Foxian was engulfed by an unknown meme while playing dreamy slots in Golden Hour. The incident caused a huge commotion at the spot. The memories of most witnesses have been processed. Note, could it be the Sweet Dreams troop? Does it have the ability to imitate and learn multiple culprits? There's likely a mastermind behind the scenes. Kambega, a male bloodhound, was attacked by an unknown meme before his shift change in the moment of serenity, resulting in his death after a fight. Security measures have been enhanced in the prison area. No, no notable details in this case. Need to ask the bloodhound family to strengthen defenses in the prison and, under, and other facilities. Janet, a female human, disappeared while visiting the film history gallery at the museum in the moment of soul. She was drawn towards a mysterious sound calling to her and walked into a screen, vanishing without a trace. The site has been cordoned off. Note, this is the only case where the culprit demonstrated speech ability. Further verification is required to determine if this is a false claim. Finish the quest early today and I'm excited to see your reaction to the tale and I am excited to get there. I hope I do tonight, although I kind of doubt that I will, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Monk, a male intel Intellitron, was attacked while replacing his newly purchased high-grade vision sensor in the auction at the moment of dusk. Note, vision sensor? Noteworthy. 
Annette, a female Papeshi, vanished while touching up her makeup in the bathroom before the graduation ceremony at Paperfold Academy in the Moment of Soul. She was caught by a meme into a mirror and disappeared, witnessed by a teacher at the scene. Note, mirror? Noteworthy. Current hypothesis is related to sight. Chloe, a female Intellitron, was attacked by a meme and disappeared when she blew out the candles during her birthday celebration with her friends in Blue Hour. All witnesses are currently receiving treatment from motivators. Note, more attacks occurred in dark or dim environments. Is sight really a trigger? Carissa, a female Helovian, was harassed by a fervent fan backstage before her performance in the moment of Scorch Sand and was subsequently abducted by a meme during her escape. The Bloodhound family has apprehended the fan. Note, abducted? Keep a lookout for this fervent fan. Dorian, a male human, took a nap before the end of his shift in the moment of daybreak without telling his managers and was abducted by an unknown, unknown meme hiding under a chair. Emergency intervention was provided and production at the factory has resumed as usual. Note, taking a nap? Plus, consider discussing with the Alfalfa family about increased vacation time and additional breaks for workers. That's cute. Marlo, a male human, disappeared after being involved in a car accident in Golden Hour. Witnesses reported the, pro the presence of an eerie meme who fled underground at the scene of the accident. This is a genuine case of death. The meme must be connected to concepts such as death and murder. Mm, okay. The list, this list comprises over 100 cases related to the memory zone meme death. However, the author of the list seems to still struggle with figuring out the pattern. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting... Less than an hour, you think? Victims. Okay, bet. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Interesting. Okay, keep looking for clues. List of suspects. Esteemed head of the Oak family, the investigation into all the suspects involved in the death case has been concluded. The findings are summarized below for your review. Respectfully yours, Esme Drott. Attachment. Ryan, a general staff from the Oak family, short gray hair, leading a laid-back lifestyle, often caught slacking off at work. Percy, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, dark curly hair, suffering from severe OCD, unable to work until his tie is tied and checked five times. Reshi, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, long gray hair, a devoted fan of Clocky, exhibits a preference for the clock element in all, almost all aspects of life. Connor, a professor at Paperfold Academy, short red hair, rumored by students to be an enigmatic figure due to his unkempt appearance. Doriani, a professor at Paperfold Academy, short gray hair, known among students for bringing cigarettes to class instead of textbooks. That's crazy. Uh, Purudu, a researcher from the Nightingale family, long blonde hair, known for being obsessed with soda and having the research lab's trash can filled with empty drink cans. Benny, a dreamscape producer from the Nightingale family, curly brown hair, frail and thin, exhibiting an almost fanatical affection for dream construction. Maureen, a dream weaver from the Nightingale family, short gray hair, standard stature for the Pepeshi adults, possesses a collector's fetish, particularly fond of mugs and jugs. Sir Whitaker, the head of the Nightingale family, short black hair distinguished by his rare orange pupils. Pat, a renowned actor, renowned actor from the Iris family, short gray hair, featured in numerous classic films and TV shows known for his distinctive thigh band. Borage, an actor from the Iris family, short black hair, frequently cast in gangster-themed films, widely acclaimed for his performances in close quarters combat scenes. Okay. Um, Nader, a drink smith from the Iris family, short blonde hair, enjoying a good reputation among tourists for his engaging conversations. Carrie, an actress from the Iris family, long pale, pale hair, known for cross-dressing in films to play, suit-clad male protagonists, affectionately call called by her fans as the Grey Beauty. Brendan, a guard from the Bloodhound family, short brown hair, awarded a medallion for rescuing 10 stranded tourists in an incident caused by a meme. Carter, a security officer from the Bloodhound family, short blonde hair, small stature, often spending his leisure time at casinos in the moment of stars. Woolsey, captain of the Bloodhound guardians. Oh, we know him, no? Wait, we saw him before with Aventurine. Short blonde hair, a stocky man bearing several scars from previous encounters with memes. Um, Olomu, a detective from the Bloodhound family, short black hair, known for his unkempt stubble and excellent undercover work in investigations with underground gangs. Corinna, an agent from the Bloodhound family, long gray hair, nicknamed Fireball by underground gangs due to her tendency to wear all red attire while enforcing the law. Melanie, a reporter from the Alfalfa family, short blonde hair, standard Papeshi stature, exhibiting a mental age beyond her actual years. 
Is this the same girl from before as well? Gabe, a gambling agent from the Alfalfa family. Short black hair, standard Papeshi stature, used to enjoy candy before a gamble starts. Lothric, a hotel butler from the Alfalfa family. Dark curly hair, tall stature, possessing a sense of humor that attracts numerous VIP customers. Lester, an auction trader from the Alfalfa family. Gray curly hair, medium stature, regularly indulging in a dream, joy, special after work. And Nyagi, a pr project manager from the Alfafa family, long blonde hair, shorter than average Papeshi, maintains a calm demeanor that has generated a lot of revenue for the family. There are a total of 52 suspects on the list, followed by a Sunday's note. Perhaps there is a common thread among them. I have reached a conclusion. Mr. Mm. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but... I haven't met any of them. I see. Huh? Not Alice. Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Just say it. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. Hmm. Oh, nice fading eternity. Congrats. All right, here we go next. A letter from Alfalfa to Sunday. I've been informed about Robin and I would like to express my deepest condolences. However, I must remind you that you now hold the position of not only her elder brother, but also the head of the Oak family. Your every action has implications for all of Penacony. As Penacony is going through a critical period, it is crucial that you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgment and be cautious not to engage in activities that others can use against you as leverage. I heard that you are planning to dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find death. Such action does not serve the best interests of the family as a whole, and I strongly advise you to reconsider it to avoid potential impeachments from other family heads. While you are convinced that death is connected to the Watchmaker, I have met that Watchmaker many times long before the Dream Master adopted you and your sister, and I have never found any evidence linking him to that memory zone meme. Now that you are the head of the Oak family, it is essential that you assess the situation objectively and consider the bigger picture. It is unwise to allocate all of Penacone's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta, as this would bring dishonor to the Great One. The Charmony Festival is on the horizon, and the Watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. Neither you nor I could face the severe consequences if Dominic Dominicus's arrival is delayed? Who? Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family, focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from the external sources. In addition, we must, not, we must not neglect the honored guests invited by the Watchmaker, as mishandling this matter could lead to diplomatic conflicts with other major factions, involving us in disputes that could have been avoided. As your elder, I hope you comprehend the gravity of the situation and handle it appropriately. As for the matter of Robin, there would be time to pursue it once the festi festival concludes. By then, I will provide you with the necessary resources and manpower in the name of the Alfalfa family to help you get your revenge. Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. I advise you to conduct yourself with caution. Yours sincerely, Old Odie. Who is the Dream Master indeed? Appreciate for reading all this. I just couldn't be bothered. I got you. Don't even worry about it. Steph, thank you for the hijack, by the way. How are you doing, Athena? I hope you're doing well. Don't worry. If you guys won't read it, I will. <laughs> Wait, let me take this quick second, guys, uh, to just to run to the bathroom, okay? I've been drinking water. I'm, I'm gonna go pee really quick, all right? And then I'll exit out of this thing and we'll continue with it right afterward, okay? Okay, I'll see you guys in a sec.
All right, I'm back. Let's do it to him, shall we? I think we're getting to some good stuff. It seems neither the dream master. Oh, there's a quick read option. Nor this I missed Ogi that. Is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem mm. to care much about death. <laughs> it's really they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Yeah, Maybe for the real. other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Yeah, that seems to be the theme of Penacony. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Unless it's a trap. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Uh-oh. The Galaxy Ranger. Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! the famous Galaxy Ranger. Thank you, Aspen. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured. He hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. <laughs> the whisper is crazy. The truth remains a mystery. I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's good night, Aspen, interest to wreak well. havoc before the you Charmony too, Ravi, Festival, good night, good night, and you guys. the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. Mm. However... I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went mm. to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Is that what Gallagher went to go look at? The scheme he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Interesting zoom in on that line. And now we switch to Aventry's POV. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. What? This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 Ooh. and is one of the survivors of the second Kataka Avgin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. What oh? pretty eyes. Jade? Who's Jade? Do they shine in the dark? Who the heck is Jade? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. 
As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yeah. Good night, airline. Thank you for hanging you out. You and killed that man anyway. Yo. The lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not oh. difficult, but definitely I see guys. pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. Hmm. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. This dude is insane. <laughs> what do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something the chief. to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Yeah, I know it's a mentoring. Bro, the he's literally speaking. Of my market value. Thirty. The remainder of my market value is crazy. I, that means you got the thirty from that guy, right? With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. Diamond. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. I want to see Diamond. You're wrong. 30 Tonbus. He'll give you that. And. Much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Mm. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name. But unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though. You deserve to live. To create even more wealth for us. Go. Pick the clothes you like. Then choose your desired identity. And then? <laughs> Use them well, child. Mm. May your plans never suffer failure. Yo. Shit, Life dude, we're building up. A long term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. <sighs> but... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial... What would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? 
an even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or will I encounter failure? Oh my god, the voice acting is so Never good. To return. That's that's him, Lowly no? Gambler. Why does it sound like him? <laughs> Why does it sound like him, Loki? Unless I'm tripping. What? It sounds like him. What? Yeah. Bidding eternity to have a good night. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Oh, it is him, yeah. That's crazy. <sighs> Am I dreaming? Have I gone completely insane? Maybe both. Perhaps both. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Already? When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlords, who was it that gave you the idea? Holy shit. I wrote the script, guys, for real. Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? Why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before your entire be gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. Okay. Yeah, I'm Elio now, guys. Forget Elio, it's Ennio. Exactly, are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Oh, really? Kakabasha, I am your future. I'm so intrigued right now, First dude. I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? <laughs> Could you imagine? Well, why are there no guests here? What's that Featherhead doing? Mm, hi, Ninja. Welcome in. All right, let's go up. Just a Papeshi? No. Wait. A child? Head to the center stage of the park, but certain letters, you guys can't see because I'm blocking it, but certain letters were blocked off, and now E and I are blocked off. Why are they blocking off certain letters? And now I actually wish I saw the letters pr from the prior one. Because I would like to know if they spell something out. I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? Check the quest What's descriptions? Wrong, yeah, sure. You don't look well. <laughs> You're... 
Uh oh. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift for Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Him as a child, right? Are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. Nah. Is this actually talking about death? Bye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Is this actually talking about death? Those eyes. And Mama Funga. No, no, it, it can't. Okay. There aren't any Avgens left. Remember how his mom and dad died? <laughs> Hi, Ota. Welcome in. <laughs> okay, now the missing letters. Okay. Now the missing letters. C. Catch up with the young Avgen boy, I'm assuming? So C. Dub. No, I don't know. Am I missing letters here? You know what? I'm not gonna overthink it. Let me just look at the quest description like uh, Rex said. I can't do this to myself. Whoa! You are completely entranced by the Avgen boy. Just who is he? There's still time. Maybe you can catch up to him and ask him exactly what. And then the last word is completely blocked off. Shoot, I wish I had read, like... I wish I had read, like, the other one. I still have a big chunk left of the story. Okay, I think probably after the boss fight, I'll end after that, and I'll continue on Friday, I think. <sighs> okay, let's, let's try to catch up. Yeah, maybe some watchmaker stuff? Perhaps. A storm? Papa, Mama, wait for me. Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> Only on Panacone, am I right? <sighs> what are you still doing here? Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink syrup is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panacone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Mm. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies. Calculations. <laughs> especially the part about the finale. A magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> Everyone thinks this way. Who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? <sighs> Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, overcautious, 
massive inferiority complex. You've won so much, and you're still mm. so afraid of losing. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight bush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. Calling him out, bro. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself, too. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. She could have been a fool, basically, is what he's saying, right? But you chose the IPC instead. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? We're done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. Well, it's mm. not going to be me anyway. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, so he had a chance to join the masked fools. Wait. Which way am I supposed to go? Because I see the little boy over here, but there's a light here. Um I would say finish the Sela just to get it all all done and over with, you know. Oh wait, I actually can't go through here. It's just a crack. Never mind. Okay, okay. <gasps> Not this shit again, bruh. Not this fucking shit again. And the child is gone. The child has officially disappeared. Oh, girlies. Uh oh. Ah, playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. Oh my god, he's fucking running! Damn. I want that. I don't think I get it. Can get it right now. The same thing, honestly. I <laughs> same. <laughs> I can't be helped. I see something, I want to explore it. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Okay. Okay, I wanted to see if uh, there was anything new there, but there's not. Is there something over here? Oh, uh, I'll come back to that later. I don't have time. What the fuck is going on here? Hide and seek. <laughs> what sweet childhood memories. When Mama said goodbye that day, how many catechins were like jackals hot on your heels? Yo. Okay, got you, Rex. I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. You and Big Sis playing dead. Drifting this is so fucked. Bloody water. Completely ruined that shirt. Wasn't that the last one dad left behind? That's so messed up, dude. 
It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Yo. It's a rag. It's not like you can ever wear it. And he's held on to it all this time. Now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. For the last round of hide and seek, and you get to be it. You should enjoy it. Bro, so this is so wild. That okay. Could he be in here? Win the hide-and-seek game and find the Avgen boy. You are unable to uncover your past. You are unable to uncover your past. Why does it do that? Why is it doing that? Hmm. I wonder. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, let's go see. How big is this part of the map? I don't want to explore too far if it's going to take me too far away. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. I know this like isn't really the time, but I need to come back here later. <laughs> okay. Is this? Oh, a, a topaz. Oh, what is this doing here? <laughs> what does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart? Really curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here to taunt you, just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. Hmm. Silent Walker Man, I'm doing well. How are you? deserves a prize for sheer nerve. Yo. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. <laughs> this is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say, that doctor's acting was superb. Wait, was he... Or... It was... Maybe he wasn't acting at all. Huh. All the better for you. I wonder. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but love that from so him. That he gets suspicious. Love that from him. Love that from him. Love that from him. <laughs> Sorry, I had to take a screenshot because I love it. <sighs> Yo, by the way, from a standard 10 pull, congrats. How are you liking Cosmodesty? I've only done the first day, but it was cool. Okay. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. You spoke the same to Sunday. 
Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it... I also love Sunday's design. Yeah, me too. Everyone's distracted. <laughs> yeah, Dad. <laughs> Oh? Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Your mind? <laughs> it's our mind. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> Really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. Hmm. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Cunning. Tell me. What's its name? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. Mm. That's what she said when he received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, mm. it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem is... Bro, his eyes close up look even Jade. cooler. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. Mm. A Venturine, Topaz, Jade... For a measly panic of me, offered their everything. Oh, hmm. you're even more united than the family. Interesting. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. It's so pretty. They're right where they belong. They is very interesting. The three stones, maybe? Piled up with these cheap baubles. That's crazy. Merlin, no worries. Good night. Sleep well. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. That's crazy. Quest is long, T dots, yeah. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. I know, right? John, same. You think the IPC will let you get off scot free? Interesting. Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I can create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. I want to see Diamond at some point, you guys. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Hmm. I also want Diamond to be playable, I agree. Now I'm really curious. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction? Hmm. Do you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards? I wouldn't have guessed 
keep you so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. Hmm. That is. If Diamond and Barker, who gets revealed first? No, for real. <laughs> We'll just have to wait and see then. Hmm. Hey. Oh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Okay. Huh? Oh, what? Oh, what? The kid? Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Could you imagine, Dan? Oh my yes. gosh. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? He's so sweet. Of course. The way he speaks. Big sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a flim. A flim, not a flim. <laughs> I think you mean snow. Shut up. Why is that cute? Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. A flim. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. Hmm. So you watched you a movie? You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Flim was really cute. Okay. Hamster ball night, fast and fury nuts. Go give it a try, <laughs> mister. <laughs> okay. Obsidian, opal, and pearl are mentioned. Oh, that's cool. What do I have to do? Is this like Flappy Bird? Okay, click the, click the flip button to dodge obstacles and opponents. If you dodge right before you're about to crash to a roadblock, you will trigger Turbo Dash and experience a short period of invulnerability. Energy can be accumulated by triggering Turbo Dash and picking up supplies. When energy is full, you will enter Nutty Blitz and experience a long period of invulnerability. Okay. The, uh... The, uh... Music change is giving me whiplash. It's it's giving me whiplash. Okay. Film's length is limited in movie mode. The progress bar below indicates the filming progress. Okay. Audience score will be accumulated by connecting to Jupiter Dash, picking up supplies, or swimming into the opponents or obstacles with, with while invulnerable. Trigger the events above as many times as you can to achieve the target audience score. Okay. Maybe Mario or something like that? But this is cute. Okay, that one was better. That was a turbo dash. I was gonna try to, you know, do a little sneaky sneak, but it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, I fucked that one up too. Shit! I'm not doing the story version of it. It took me so many tries to do because you have to perfectly time stuff. No, I, I honestly, I got too fast and too furious. I really did. I really got too fast and too furious. Okay, but I got what I needed, right? <laughs> How's that? Not a bad score, eh? <sighs> Boring. Oh, interesting. Okay. I don't want to fight you, homies. I'm not here for you right now. Anything change here? You completely... Oh, it just goes back to the old one. <laughs> Yo. Okay, we're back. Why aren't you talking? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that 
there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. Hmm. Okay. Ride the pinball machine. Does this change too? Uh, same thing. Okay, okay. Let's go back through. Oh, never mind. This is a different one than before, I see. Okay. Could you imagine if we had to do shit like this in real life? This place... It's so tall! Even taller than the tallest rocks in the desert! Hmm. No there water so only many rock. flowers here! Fix this! This one's for you! Rock and no water, only the sandy road. <laughs> when the it's not ride the pinball or catch up with the boy, the description becomes interesting. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go the subway. <laughs> No worries. Good night, Tevin. Sipa. Have a good night's rest. I hope you enjoyed the story. Love you, love you. Sleep well. <laughs> this is the easiest maze I've ever been through in my life. A dead end? I lied. Oh, is this the wrong way? What does that say? Check the... Check, check the something, something lost. You cannot escape from the past. Mm, I don't know what this is supposed to say though. This one I'm kind of drawing a blank on, I'm not gonna lie. Huh. It, is this? Uh-oh. Yo. It's got nothing to do with you. Dude. Do you need a hint? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. And you made your first pot of gold. Mm. I remember it all too well. Um, Shax, thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. The list is fucked. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist. For that is the only tool you could find. Shut up. Yo. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth only 60 tazas. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? You love the thrill of danger, but you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. Hmm. I'm entering Your is the MC. Your follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. <laughs> could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal Here's mention of Opal. 
Opal. And Opal is a guy. Oh. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breathing by? Hmm. But did that vast fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... disappear? Hmm. <laughs> brought back would they bloom into new flowers leave the maze something something your future never existed yo shut up this is crazy yo holy fuck were there water we should stop and drink <laughs> also, you might be right, Dark. Maybe. That would be cool. Amongst the rock, one cannot stop or think. <sighs> Wait, this is crazy. What does it say? Check... Check the lost... Something and memories. Thoughts and memories, maybe? I don't know. The brooch. right now is hard to put into words. The lucky charm on the left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Wait, was his sister alive? Mama only left us with two pieces of Did I jewelry, miss something? A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Uh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You are a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops can lead the clan to happiness so always remember to protect yourself and but he did say he was the the sole survivor through. no the words still ring in your ears don't they you're a good kid so you definitely won't have forgotten so you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were Mm. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. Damn. You ran away without looking he back. He said perhaps. Just as she told me. Okay. Tisk. Tisk. <laughs> A lifelong regret indeed. Enough. Do you not have anything better to talk about? Shut me down like a champ! Hmm. Well, I yeah. guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. And woo! You are nuts! Oh, wow. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> wow. I'm like stuck to that from start to finish. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool. And a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is 
one word. The last word. The word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. But who's exactly? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. Who the hell is gonna die? <laughs> Curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiatha's blessing? Damn. <sighs> what a so fucking question. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? Oh shit. Escape. Escape the maze. Escape. Something last, maybe? Escape? And where's Himiko is crazy. For your nuts, Mr. Hollow Aventurine. Oh my god. Also, take awkward. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Okay, failure, discarded, selfish, useless, pointless, coward, murderer, gambler, blessed, discarded, loser, chosen one, mother, goddesses, beloved, crazy, murderer, blessed, failure, discarded, loser, pointless, coward, over and over again, and then loser, 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 loser. Yo. Hmm. Yeah, this is fucked. This is so fucked. Okay. An hour and ten to go. Do you think we're gonna finish with quest tonight? Probably not. It's already about to be 2 a.m. That means I would be here till probably later than 3, which is not good. Feet deep in the sand. Oh, I didn't get to read that. I think it's a dad Finally at the beginning. Made it out of this place. This shit is wild. We're going home, but I don't want to go back yet. Hmm. Okay. Not this one being extra complicated. Oops. <laughs> I ran out of energy. Reset. What happens if I rotate it? I only have three left, bro. I feel like I should work backwards, low key. Wait, let me work backwards. Uh, reset again. Okay. It has to go through this one. Okay. Which will have to hit this one. Which will go... Can I rotate this another way? Oh, no, it won't have to hit this one. I think this is going to be the final one that it'll get to. Right? I think. Wait, it's kind of hard to tell. Close this one. Why does this one seem harder than normal? It was on this for the longest time, really? Oh, did I skip it? Did I get you one? No, I'm just going easier ass one. Ending kind of loses its emotional impact with an extended break. Do you think? Do you think I should try to tough it out? <sighs> okay, fine. I'll, I'll tough it out. 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 Okay. You said focus on the right side? Okay, hold on. Let me reset. Let's focus on the right.
What did I miss? Oh, this one? Wait, undo this one. Oh, I see, because it was in the middle. It was kind of fucking me up. It was kind of fucking me up, for real. <laughs> okay. Ending was so amazing, but do his best for your life. It's the only game. No, we'll finish it tonight. Fuck it, we ball. I do have work. It's not in the morning, though. I don't work in the morning. Wait, let me just check something really quick, you guys. Hold on. Let me check what time I have to be in tomorrow. Um, okay, cool. I don't have to start early, so that's a good thing at least. <laughs> Thanks, Barth. Do what you think is best for you? You know we are a terrible emphasis. No, it's okay. It's fine. Let's just finish it out. <sighs> Cause we ball. Here we ball. I'll be okay. I, I work at 2.30 tomorrow. Um, it takes me like half an hour to get there. I usually leave like 45 minutes before. So, I should be okay. I should be okay. Alright, let's go. Doo, 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 doo. It's so fun here. I want to stay here forever. What does it say? But dry, sterile thunder without rain. Okay. Should we do this? See, Ben, if you be. Uh, We'll see about that one. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Wish the HSR story quest wasn't as long as it is, but honestly makes it so much more impactful. No, listen. It's only... Like, they have a lot of stuff to... To fit in, you know? If there were water... Wait, what's on the TV? Brother Hanu has been watching you. Want to vanquish evil together with Brother Hanu? Well, now's the time. Penikoni needs you. Just grab your coat, wrap on your shades, and you can be just like Brother Hanu. And don't forget that charming hat of yours. Be the bre best Brother Hanu you can be and spread the good word of Hanu. Get moving pronto. Some of feel a strange sense of justice surging through your body. It's time to do whatever a hot-blooded trailblazer has to do. Okay. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting indeed, isn't it? <sighs> if there were water and no rock, if there were rock, what the hell? But no water. Thank you for the hydrate part. <sighs> okay, we're Hanu again. I don't really feel tired. Well, I'm a little bit tired, right? But I think I'm okay, all things considered. I'm just worried about tomorrow, if anything. <laughs> but we ball. Gotta do what you gotta do. Around. one place he can be going. Whether it's in the past, present or future boss stones means will experience true calamity when hanu gets his hanu launcher after taking aim at an enemy hitting the fire button will unleash the hanu rocket and consume ammunition enemies will drop ammo after being defeated if one round of ammo hits multiple enemies more ammo is dropped all at once if he has no more ammo left he can return to hanu launcher's position to unlock the hanu rocket again and replenish future. one ammo okay That's kind of sick. Wait. Trigger an explosion that defeats enemies and is even capable of destroying walls. Okay. Oh, that's quite interesting, don't we think? Beautiful dream is about to end. Mm. 
No, we'll forget some rest if you need to. It'll be on YouTube also later. That's crazy, Derek. It's 1 a.m. Get rest if you need to. It's very late for me right now as well. Mister, is that you? I hear the sound of leather shoes. That's not creepy at all. Spring break is started? Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> it's this goes at 3 a.m. That's a choice. <laughs> You think it'll be 3 a.m. when we finish? That's very possible. It's very, very possible. Am I gonna- Do I have to turn back into Hanu? I don't really want to right now, but I guess I do. I love the Hanu music though. Do I still have the grenade? I do. No, 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 no. Do I still have ammo? I don't. Hello. I thought I could return back to that spot. I don't want to hide. Get me out. Isn't this where I picked up the launcher? Oh, I actually did kill him. Never mind. Okay. Anya size, no for real. I didn't realize that I got him, you guys. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Hanu is based on Hanunu, they said, right? One of the people that started, like, the rebellion or whatever. Or not rebellion, but whatever they called it. And he was, like, Worked with the watchmaker, I believe. Yeah, that's how you spell it. And with the firepower. <laughs> um. Wait, uh, I'm gonna wait for this piece for later. Hold on. This one is definitely like top of the chest. Same thing with this one. Here we go. Okay, cool. Not outliving her being Navia is crazy. Okay, let's continue. We're back to this area. <laughs> ah, it really is you. Why is he talking like that? His voice also kind of sounds familiar. I don't know why, mister, but you always give me a special feeling. It makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? This is so interesting. Mm. You're going back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? Good morning, Sheep. Thank you for the five Sheep. Welcome question. in. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. <sighs> this amusement park. This beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Oh, so sad. Where are they then? And this bitch is back. Tired. 
Don't say that to me right now. We are. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me and him. Hmm. Your past <sighs> and future. That's crazy. How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. <sighs> hmm. The road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. Never gone in any other direction. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. You don't care who the real murderer is, and the watchmaker's so-called legacy couldn't be more boring. What you want, what you need, is to be the smooth operator, the solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat even when he's up to his neck in danger deep inside family territory you want to be polished up cuffed with red hot chains and mm. spotless center stage <laughs> you'll be the closing act the final Yo. I can do it. And it will be flawless. Oh. Uh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple. at the table and as for you you'll just happen to slip the leash sweep the rat race extract yourself from this endless debug you'll Damn. have the freedom you've always dreamed of that's freaking wild <laughs> this isn't the first time you've been an escape artist from day one this fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death So that's why Diamond chose you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. Shit. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Damn, dude. It is yes. sad, right? Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. The luck always seems like it's on your side. For real. Chaos Reign Seek with the Fall, by the you way. You'll keep Amen. winning, having never lost before. But why you? Why must it be you? If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, the mm. loss of dozens more. If these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanthra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? Damn, bruh. <sighs> well, maybe. 
Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Sure. Come on. Okay. Mm. Stop! Look at the little mans. That's so cute. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see what I look like too. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. That's crazy. <laughs> sure. So you're an okay. actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. <laughs> May your plans never I'm suffer actually failure. A merchant. But I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than theirs. <laughs> awesome. I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. Stop. <laughs> of course you can. You'll be better and stronger than me. Yo. But it's crazy though, because he's like talking to himself in the past. You know? <laughs> you know? He's like basically talking to himself. So what's up with that? Okay. Thunder, the lightning. Get on stage, fear not, never look back. Always another one that is beside you. But who is that on the other side of you? Oh, there's a bird over there. I'm not getting it right now, though. Base Wars, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. I will definitely be pulling Aventurine. I already planned to before, but this just further confirms it for sure. I feel like 2.1 is shifting from the topic and going into way too much detail into inventory. Not saying it's bad, but feels off topic. I'm sure it will pull itself together. Like, it'll tie the, the knot somewhere. I always feel like that whenever um, Hoyo or any story for that matter feels like they're going into a lot of a different topic. It's because, at least I think, that they have to go into the depth of the background of something that may seem off topic to bring it back to the topic and make the main topic more impactful, if that makes sense. Because imagine if whatever their end goal was, imagine if they went straight to the end goal without giving us more of a Venturine story. I don't know what's gonna happen to a Venturine after this, obviously, but like, let's say he does die, right? Let's say a Venturine does die and we didn't go through this. It's gonna mean absolutely nothing to me, you know? So we'll see, we'll, we'll see. Obviously I won't say, like I won't give my full opinion on it until I finish, 
because I don't know where it's going from here and how it will tie back into the main story, but we'll see. I, I, I will probably refrain judgment until I see how they tie it back. Um, also, Sam, thank you for the hydrate. And Kotz, thanks so much for the prime. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, you only get one prime, so if you use it here, I, I really, really appreciate it. Holy Wolf says sleepy time, but Wolf says event time. Go get some rest, Wolf. You should definitely go to sleep. It's getting late for you, right? Complete circle, I see. Yeah, we'll see. Again, I don't know, because I'm not sure how this is going to end, right? So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's continue. Over planes endless, into cracked earths stumbling. It's only 11. I mean, 11's getting kind of late, you know? I would go to sleep if I was if I was finished with it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Crank. Fear not, never look back. Oh, here's the stage from before. Okay. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Uh oh. Good luck with your show. Scary. Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Mm. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. The look on his face right if now. You're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. Dude. This is a trick. An act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. That's so sad, bruh. You know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. <sighs> I have chills, dude. Little do the Catechins know, this time we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The catechins stand no chance against them, and will surely pay for their arrogance. Hmm. Without this rain, the catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But, but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting uh... for me. I must answer the call. But she will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. So she was planning to die. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avjin will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. A reincarnation. May That's the super interesting. Gaia close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. 
let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. Oh. Farewell, Kakavasha. Damn. Newsflash from the Inter Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjin, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The what casualties the hell? are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. Yeah, under protection, my fucking ass. Deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? <laughs> Bye. Yo, 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 I'm scared. I'm actually 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 scared. Uh, okay. Go on stage. I'm scared. Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. Yo, yo, yo. By the way, yo. Before you go, I have a personal question. You. Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Oh, bitch. Okay, we're returning to the channel. This is POV! Is this Miss <laughs> Ackerman? Ah, I'm hello. scared. I'm Himigo. Oh, Don, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in, guys. Hello, hello. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure he needs no introduction, as you definitely know him. Hey, I still deserve a proper intro. Pleased to meet you, Miss Akron. You can call me Clarky. Uh, <laughs> hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with I'm you, I'm literally so nervous. I'm so nervous. You. And we I'm so nervous. Trip. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. 
In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Oh, bitch. Assuming I'm things scared. do escalate to that stage, <laughs> having it. an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. Okay. We just. But we just meet out justice for the dead? We must meet out justice for the dead, sorry. Maybe we should now get out of here while we still can. I am the bone of my bat. Celeron is my body, and Trailblaze is my blood. You're talking weird again. Oh, nice, Shane. Congrats, that is a good dude. Vibe. No matter what, we can't Yo. ignore the safety of. I'm Kamikami. so nervous, guys. I'm so. To nervous. solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. W. Let's Hi, Panda, welcome then. back. But where do we start looking for him? No need to uh. rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I am so nervous. <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. The hour of trailblazing is upon us, bitch! Okay! Okay! Uh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? Uh-huh. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park, then. Okay. Mr. Yang. Mm -hmm. Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? Because he's a snake! Just kidding, it's love him. Just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, oh? It's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. Mm -hmm. But I chose to believe you. And my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. Okay. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. I'm so nervous my leg is shaking right now, guys. Thank you. I don't understand. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you. As you should, Queen. We if love to see it. My meager strength is required. Meager strength. Relax, buddy. Enough. Enough of that. Enough of that. Ooh! <laughs> and then Terry and Susan have waited for quite some time on the stage in the center of Clock Studios theme park. Join this crazed gambler for a perfect collaborative performance that will blow everyone in Penacony away. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah, this team will work, right? If I die, I die. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> My not even fully built Acheron is going in, bitch. Eventually, She's going in. A really conspicuous location. Ugh. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar <laughs> or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Oh, <sighs> everyone, pay attention. Is Fushan and Flosha doesn't work out. Okay, okay. Obviously, come prepared. <laughs> I'm scared. Jamer's sitting here with the follow. Guys, I'm actually scared right now. <laughs> Uh 
Uh huh. That's me, girly pop. Welcome to the Interastral Peace Corporation Live Show. Yo, yeah, woo! Okay, good night, Panda. I sleep well. Go rest, go rest. <sighs> Irie Ball. Oh my god, look at it, look at it, look at it! Yo, this is kind of crazy. Oh shit. Enjoy? I'm scared. Yeah, right, bitch. I now know you wanted her here. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. <laughs> well I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Okay. Everyone, give it up for Mr. Stellaron! Thank you, thank you, that's me. Thank you. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, we're not here for any pageantry. Does this have anything to do with the wanted murderer? Mommy, look, I'm on TV! Yes, that's my response. Let's do it. Uh, uh, look at the smile. <laughs> look at the smile. Let me remind you that in all <laughs> likelihood, this stage and his identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Yo. <laughs> oh, no, they do. <laughs> Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because he's the only one who saw all three homicides. He is the key to proving that the family's death does not... And I'll let him know. Promise, ...is nothing but a sham. And I'll let them know. I'm on, you know what, Eventry, I'm with you. I'm with you, girly. That's Three? Right. The third oh. one is about to happen right now. Okay, that's kind of right crazy. In Clock Studios theme park. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up, bro. Let's not make that one happen. A I kind of want you to live. You, 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 and you. Oh. All of you are going to die. And it's all because of you. Bro, his bluffing is crazy. Stop. I love Aventurine. Kame, I love him. The personification of death. Let's do it! Woo! I'm down! Worse watching some of the bosses' attacks in one time speed. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what are you on about? You sure you're gonna survive this? I ain't that powerful. Guess do that. Never underestimate yourself. You're right. Well, like I said, you have the power to turn the tide on the entire game. Wow, he's gassing me up right now. I will detonate the Stellaron in you. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Teeny tiny accident on Panicone. This sounds kind of fun, don't you think? Bam! Yeah! I love his energy. Will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC fleet's navigator. No. Well, bam! Your bluff is a He's just like me. One. He's just you a could new really for real. Do that. You would have done so earlier. You want to bet? <laughs> sure. I'll <sighs> you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. Wow. You won't do it. Say I won't. Of course I can. He's literally saying it's say I won't right now. I came from the wastelands of Sigonia for just 60 red copper coins. That would be crazy, Sky. paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me. The golden sands. But the sun could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. Oh, I've never been defeated. Because he's goaded with the sauce. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? 
I'm not going to bed tonight. I'm not going to bed tonight. I'm not going to bed tonight. Every night is practice for the end. I'm not going to sleep. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death <laughs> will <serve us laughs> Yo. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or crowd to. Oh, let him know. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. Look at him. Look at the glasses. <laughs> No value at all. Yo, 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 I'm yo. I'm coming down the bed. I'm taking the gamble. I gotta sit up. I gotta sit up. I'm claiming the win. Oh, it fades in the wheel. How dare you? Walking the brink of death for rebirth. Whoa! For the Emperor Lord. Oh, that's sick. Oh, bitch, I'm not ready. He looks fucking sick. He looks but the mute wait. Okay, banger? Like what? This is so good! Stop. Okay, I'm awake. I'm so fucking awake. It's 2.40 a.m. and I'm up, bitch. I'm up. Okay, I'm playing at one time speed so that I can see what he does. Okay? My Acheron is E0. <laughs> okay? <laughs> she is E0. <laughs> I am Another not saying this is gonna go well, but I'm here nonetheless, okay? I'm here nonetheless. I know I'm using Sparkle instead of another Nihility, but we ball. Alright, here we go! It's adventuring time after this, uh, Luocha. Alright, fuck me up. Let's see what you got. Okay. Energy reduced. Well, it doesn't matter because my Acheron doesn't use energy, so you played yourself. Okay. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Yo, 96k! She's barely built! Let that girly cook! Let that girly cook right now. Eternal sleep is not the dead will return! I don't think I've ever heard him do that in slow mo before. Going all <laughs> Abyss flower, bloom. Bloom. That which is seized must be repaid. All right, I'm scared, bitch. All or nothing. What that mean? Attack as many targets as possible. Is that what that said? I didn't read fast enough because I was too distracted. All right, let's find out. <laughs> Okay, three points? what that mean? Oh! Yo, relax, dog. Chill. Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. All right, all right, all right. Hey, we're going to slow it down again because we're about to get hit, uh, a moment. Okay, energy reduced. Fucking energy. Divinity. Thanks for the support. Fucking energy, bitch. Eternal The dead return. Well, it's the game where you got spank. Is that how that works? Bitch, I don't know. I'm just here. Feeling spiffy? Yeah. On the still waters of oblivion. You have the upper hand. <gasps> you chose the huh? Another journey destined for oblivion. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Prepare for some hard luck. Are you gonna fuck me over? You. Now we're chilling. We're chilling, we're chilling for now. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'll see you off. Do I need to? No, we're good. We're still good. I'll go easy. Feeling spiffy? I really like the the music. The it's really, really good. On the still waters of oblivion. All right, fuck him up, girly pop. You may not be built, but go get him. Whoop him! Whoop him! 
Oh, look at him! Oh, 124K. We love to see it. Don't worry. It's just. Give me ball. What are you gonna do to me? Sex many targets as possible to obtain a higher point and win the gamble. <gasps> Why can't I use my girly pops? It has to be Locha. Equal points, the gamble results in a draw. And I'm good to go. It's a draw, we're alive. We're, we're all good and well, and we're good to go. <laughs> we're, we're okay. Time for good old counter <laughs> I think we're doing okay so far. Let's play pro. Free will, destined for oblivion. I'll see you off. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I should have saved his ult, but whatever, it's cool. It's cool. Okay, like damn. I'm ready for the gambas, bro. I'm ready. Don't even worry about it. You know what? If I die, I die. Like, what do you want me to tell you? Like, at least I die by his hand. It too shall fall. Okay, we're cooking. <laughs> I'm not even scared. Save yourself for the gamble. Okay, I will, I will. You're so right. Somebody let him cook. Who let him cook? It was me. Oh, I could have done her E there and probably been fine, but it's cool. All right, fuck me up. Wait, hold up. Okay, we're all in. All of us are in. Yes? Wait, this music gets sicker. Enemy targets detected. Um, okay. Well, I'm nowhere near near any of my AoE abilities, so we kind of got to We're not looking too hot here, guys. I'm not going to lie. I think we might die. Still waters of I think we might lose this gamble. I'm not even going to cap. Oh! I'm alive, bitch. I'm alive. I'm alive and well for now. Wha-bam! 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 Okay. How are you doing, Akron? She's cool. We're vibing, you know? We're chilling. <laughs> Chill! Okay. Destined for oblivion. You chose the wrong enemy. I think I want to heal my Locha. Even though I have auto heal up, I want him to stay alive, so I'm gonna keep it up. I'm gonna keep it up. Okay, attack as many targets as possible. That I can do. I think I'm gonna save her ult for now. <laughs> Another journey begins. On the still waters of oblivion. Commencing support. <gasps> An ally has lost the gamble. Bye! Bye, girly. Oh, but you're safe! You're safe, girly. Don't even worry about it. I got your ass. I got your ass. You're up. You're up. You are fucking up. I wait for the depart. It too shall fall. Yeah. Take that, bitch. Okay. Destined for oblivion. You chose the wrong echo. I'm gonna save that for later. Okay, okay. Oh, but I lost my energy because of that. Oh, but that's okay, I, I think. Maybe, for now. I might have fucked myself, Loki. There is the possibility that I may have fucked myself. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal Pela right now. I'm a little worried. And then I'll do the ult, so this way it'll hit all of them and get extra points. I may not have any skill points, but it's okay. Enemy targets detected. We ball. Did I win? Okay. 
Fuck her up. Go for it. Fuck her up. Boom, boom, boom. She's alive. What do you have to say about that? Okay, how about this? Let's do this. Is it an achievement to win all the gambas? You don't say we'll pay, we'll pay him! There you go. I did it. I may have forgotten, but we're back. We're back, baby. I'll go easy this time. Feeling spiffy? Quite. Find the answer. Quite indeed. I feel like we're doing well right now. Like he's at 10 HP. 10% HP. Commencing enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. I feel like all things considered, we're doing all right. You chose the wrong enemy. No, you chose the wrong enemy. Eternal the dead return. Is this first try? It is. It is. Let's play for a while. I know I should probably attack the enemy there, but I don't really care that much. This isn't gonna make a difference to me either way. We ball! Doing great? Yeah! Do they live? Yes or no? They live. W Luocha, W Luocha, W Luocha. Okay, let's do this. You gave up? No freaking way. I feel like I'm cooking his ass right now. Personally. Oh my god, ended on the ult? Oh, never mind. Never mind, never mind. Why can't I feel that free? Oh no, he just wants to be happy and free. I'm sorry. Always hide your ace with a straight face. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> oh my god, he looks so sick like this. Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last shit. Only by cast inside reason does one truly What is happening? <gasps> That's crazy. No way. You're leaving? <laughs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pentacon. What do you hope to find within a dream? Who's she talking to? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Hmm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the Harmony. Even if that's not what I want? Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other Eons. They have never glanced at anyone. They need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk, and together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadow. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color, but not much. Whoa. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely. I will reach the nihility's end. Whoa! Oh my god, I just got chills. <laughs> I just got chills, I just got chills, I just got chills. 
I, I'm clutching my hand so hard I have marks. Ooh. I wish to mourn the departed, weeping like rain. Oh shit! To swell the crossing stream. Arrives, leading you back home. Oh, the music is so sick! Oh! Oh, but I feel actually like I feel die. I'm gonna be upset. Holy shit! Oh my fucking gosh. That's insane. That's so fucking insane. Hey. Hey, girly. What, what is this place? Uh, a gigantic black hole. And see, have I, have I succeeded? Oh my God, oh my God, oh, I can't do this. This is where we go our own way, a walk among the tombstones? Are you fucking kidding me? Nah. You have reached your final end. Bid your farewells to blank in your final moments. Try your best to die without regrets. Don't forget to have a I know he wants to die, but I can't do it. I can't. Welcome to this sad world. Uh, I don't want to walk forward. I actually, I don't want to walk forward, you guys. I actually don't want to do it. I know he wants it, but I can't. Oh, shut up, the child! Your good luck is the most precious wealth. We I can't. I all can't. Have Jin have. I don't want to go. 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 You oh. came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Dude, ah. I can't do this. I can't fucking do this. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Dude. Stop this. Stop this right now. Stop this right fucking now. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. That better be true, girly. Reunite with your fa I just saw the thing change and now it's reunite with your family. Farewell, Kakavasha. Ugh, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. It's a pity I cannot this is not the place you were expecting. Is it? Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. <laughs> the nihility envelops it, everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So. Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of IX. 
under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. Mm. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Dude, she looks so now sick that you've like this, your as an goal, aside. I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that. I you actually feel sick right now. Length. He's you gotta get out, Even bro. You have to get out. Life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Oh? Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. <sighs> that barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. And lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous deaths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penacone. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these conjectures is for the family to come clean. Oh? And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memories on meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. Mm. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. It's crazy. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Yo. Both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, 
the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. I actually love him, you Detonating guys. a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the Abyss... Yo! ...is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that... I have nothing. Stop. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Oh! Your gamble is not over yet. The dream in red? <laughs> Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? If it's just to die? I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said, sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Oh. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Guys, I Good have been- luck. I have to show you my hands after this. <laughs> I just realized what I was doing. <gasps> oh my god, I almost forgot about this. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. Stop it! Stop! Why is this gonna make me emotional, Loki? Also, guys, like, I have been clutching my hands so hard that I now have fingernail marks in my hand. That's how fucking tense I have been. Shut up. <laughs> then I shall get going. Oh my god, hey. Mister. You're no, leaving? So you ultimately chose to... leave this dreamscape. Sounds so sad. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. 
then are you going to? I'll get there one day. So he's not But not dead. now. He's not dead. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops. Know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakamasha. And to make them proud. Shut up. Mm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. Yo! <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. Bro. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. Yo. <laughs> Well, I seem that way because I am nervous. Are they gonna do the thing? You know what? Maybe you can help. Shut up. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? Are you going don't, now? Don't, don't, don't. Yes. So do it. May the mother goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Keeping, keeping your blood, blood eternally, eternally pulsing. pulsing. May, May your journey, journey be forever, forever peaceful. peaceful. And your, your schemes, schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakavasha. Bro. With hope for the moral. No, I have to pause this. Hold on. So much has just happened. I uh, can't even process my own emotions, you guys. I actually genuinely cannot process my own emotions in this moment in time. Like... This shit got me fucked up. Like, you know, I, like the way that I feel right now is like one of those, like I need to go lay on the floor after this. Like, I'm gonna need to go lay on the floor and like contemplate existence after this and maybe cry a little bit. Okay. With hope for the morrow nestled in my heart, I descend into the slumber of tonight. Until the denouement of all coming morrows kisses me, I have then embraced the quiet death. Okay. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present, in every sinking night, by every daring gamble. No vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life knows not quietude, his fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempests, one after another, till mire enshrouds his very breath. And now, in the unfathomable, de unfathomable depths of dream, the once falling die has at last landed on its earthly rest, quietly, peacefully, in at last landed. The light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. represents one outcome <sighs> he kept his promise I don't and got what he wanted <laughs> 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 land, your cornerstone 
has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then... Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. What the fuck does that mean? Thereafter, in the cradle of slumberers, deep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I feel kind of upset. <laughs> I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Meanwhile, memory zone depths. You try to open your eyes, but find only blackness before you. Where is this? What happened? And whose POV is this? Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago. Aventurine unleashes the final assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Acheron drawing her blade and then crash. The indescribable force severs the power of preservation, while time and space froze instantly. Your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness, until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. Yes, I'm N. I think someone saved me. Doesn't matter. I need to get out of here. You're awake. <gasps> I- No. Can we relax for two seconds? Like- I need to like take a walk or something because I still have not even fully processed the fact that Aventurine is not here. Yes, I know it kind of seems like he's not like done done, right? Like he's not like dead dead, right? I don't think. But also if he is, like I was so ready to cry like two seconds ago and now they're throwing me into Sam and I'm like not physically ready for this. <laughs> I am like not physically ready for this one right now guys like yeah he's like in purgatory like uh, thank god he's playable this patch because what the fuck man <sighs> okay i need to breathe okay fuck man sorry i'm so okay right now i swear i'm so okay harmony debuff gone Ugh. <sighs> All right, I can't do it, bro. This is crazy. Wasabi Kirtan, thank you for the tier one from before also, by the way. I appreciate that. And the follow, Thrasher DL. Dare to win, thank you for the follow before, full octane. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not caught up on notifications at all, but I really appreciate you all, for real. <sighs> Akron saved him and set him free, but, like, I... Listen, I am very selfish. I'm a very selfish individual. I know this is what he wanted, right? He wanted to be wherever it is that he is now, right? And walking down this path. But, like, if I don't see him again in a story, the selfish me is saying, I need confirmation that this bitch is okay. Do you understand? Like, I need to make sure this girly pop is all right. But I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Let me, let me shut my mouth, okay? Okay. Sam. I've Hi. been waiting on you for quite a while. Sorry. And you are just what's happening here. It's you. What have you done? Let's say I that. I didn't do anything but wait for you to wake up. You've met me before. I'm Sam, a Stellaron hunter. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal oh? some truths to you i like truths but i encountered more roadblocks than expected 11 times 11 I tried, but ended in failure before i knew it this world and i became too intertwined and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script oh elio is right in this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. 
I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silverwolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So, there is only one method that I use. Oh? This is to show you. All that I am. What the fuck? Labyrinth like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. Is this game like sick or what? Like, is this game like sick or what? <laughs> I'm just like I'm just like I'm just like a little bit like upset because like how are they gonna be like <laughs> hey it's me Firefly I'm Sam surprise and immediately hit us with the to be continued see you guys next time Whatever, bro. Like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. <sighs> All right. Labyrinth-like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. Okay, honestly, same. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. <sighs> Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties... Oh, he's so ...will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. Excuse me? <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. Is he about to beat I've the shit out of him? trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. He sounds like he's about to beat the shit out of him, I'm just saying. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. Oh, shit. <laughs> Those are fighting words, no? Like, I personally would love to see it. You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. Let him know. Let him what know. I love Sunday, but let him know. Nonsense. You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Oh, girly. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. What the hell? If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha, huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? Huh? 
Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good look. <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. <sighs> you collect I the remember the list. Of each of them and <laughs> oh, I remember the yourself. list. Then you invented this facade, a complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I read that fucking list, bitch! I read the list! You have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. And he's a four star? Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? Oh! <laughs> <sighs> oh you know, shit! In the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Fucking song. <sighs> Turn the shit up, bro. Turn it up. I don't even know what else to do except for like, like what, am I, what am I even supposed to do? What am I even supposed to do? Thanks for the like code, I guess. I'm actually fucking sick. I'll check the place where I've entered was. I will, I will. Nice. Yo, no offense, bro. Bloodhound contractor in my DMs? 
Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Apparently Firefly's hangout spot changed also. Okay. How do we sleep? man i don't even know how to feel anymore do, do you understand the 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 struggles i'm having in my mind right now i don't i don't know if you do you might you might all right listen up you guys i'm pissed moral of the story is i'm fucking pissed all right <sighs> So, <laughs> so you're gonna tell me that this entire time Gallagher was the one controlling death and now he fucking got Sunday. Eventarine is nowhere to be found. He's in the ether. Sunday's fucking gone. <sighs> But is he evil? Shh. Shit, I don't fucking know. Listen, I have no idea if Gallagher is right or wrong. I have no clue at this point. I literally don't know. <laughs> right? I got no idea. I have got no idea what is going on in this motherfucker's head. Okay? I got no clue. Uh, Listen, Aventurine, he might be okay. All right. Yeah. Aventurine's probably fine. All right. I think. I guess. This motherfucker's a snake. But might be a good snake. But I don't know. Because I haven't gotten that far in the story yet. No one's gotten that far in the story yet. I will look at Agron's voice line also. Okay. <sighs> Yo. Listen. Sunday? I actually fuck with Sunday, though. Okay? Wait, why did he say he's 13, though? He said he's 13. I still can't tell. I don't... Th like, is he evil? Bitch, I don't know. Thirteen was a joke. It was. It. Like, I think it was a joke. I'm just saying. I, I'm pretty sure it was a joke. Thirteen means death. Apparently, thirteen. Oh my. Oh my. And he literally said, "I'm thirteen. I'm leaving. I'm like. I might as well leave the room. I might as well leave." He literally stared us in the face. He said, "Hold up. Hold up, guys." He said, "I'm thirteen. He basically looked at us and said, "I'm death." <clears throat> I'm in shambles. I'm literally in shambles. I'm literally in shambles. I'm literally, I'm literally in fucking shambles. <laughs> I am literally in fucking shambles. <sighs> like, I, uh, there's tears in my eyes. I'm in shambles. Yeah. Listen, dude. Anyways, like, are Sunday and Robin actually fucking dead? Or not? Are, are Sunday and Robin actually dead or not? Because Robin's playable next patch. Robin is playable next patch. Sunday has to be playable or I'm literally going to cause a massacre to no person because I'm not a murderer like somebody here. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I guess. I, I I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to say it either way. They could. That's true. They could find a way back. They could find a way back. I hope they come back. If they don't come back, I, I don't know. So I, I think somebody should die because otherwise, like, what is it? Like, 
Where's the impact? You know what I'm saying? Like somebody should die, but I don't think it should be either of those two. Can we make it somebody I don't like as much? <laughs> yeah, also, Firefly's alive and Firefly is Sam. <clears throat> don't say that, John. Which one freaks you out the most? Adventuring's plan, Firefly being Sam or Gallagher being death? I would say Gallagher being death was the, oh, I don't know, but Firefly and Sam is still pretty fucking crazy. Because they literally just told us and they were like, yeah, that's it. You're going to have to wait till next patch to find out what's going on with this, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's between Gallagher. It's between the Gallagher thing or the Sam thing. You're okay with Misha getting killed? I don't think I am. Your Firefly is okay. You're right. She did make it back because she did get hit. She did get hit by death. You're right. Oh my god, you're right. Thank you for putting this in perspective for me. But I still don't understand the whole Sam thing. Why is she Sam? Yeah. Why the fuck is she Sam? Stop yawning! You're a traitor! Well, I actually don't know how to... I still really don't know how to feel about you yet, girly pop, so... Faction self-annihilator. That's fucking wild. I barely even know what that means. Which one was the question mark, guys? Do we... I don't know which one was the question mark anymore. Maybe death isn't such a mean dude after all... Stop. Remember the stowaway segment? She's not supposed to be there, so how Sam was able to enter was through Silver, Silver Wolf hacking... She can't dream in the first place. Huh. I know Sam was at the place, but... I have a theory that when Aventry referred to the mute that came back, he was talking about Firefly. I think that makes sense. Death just wants to be your drinking buddy, bro. She's a dying girl who's losing the ability to use her body, so how would you expect her to function? But Sam existed prior to the incident, right? Like, Sam, as a Stellaron hunter, was talked about prior to this incident. Maybe it was a he according to Sparkle, but then when they talked about the mute with Aventurine and Acheron, they addressed them as a she. They did address them as a he at first, but then it got changed to she later. You get a new profile pic as well? Really? Firefly was born with her condition. I know. I'm talking about... I'm talking about Sam... I'm talking about, like, Sam and Firefly, like, separately. But I guess what you're saying makes sense. So you're saying because her body was, like, you know, in the state that it was, she uses Sam's body, like, or herself as... A this is too confusing for me to talk about because they're... I have always treated them as two separate entities, and now they are one. Or maybe they've they've just always been one and I just didn't know. Well, we didn't know. I don't fucking know anymore, guys. What the fuck? It's 3.37 in the morning. Do you guys know that? Okay, wait. Which, guys, I no longer know which one was question marked out. Because I didn't listen to all of these before. So... Does anybody know which one was the question marks before? Because I don't. Might be self-identity. Oh yeah, that probably makes sense. Dreams and essence are meaningless. Their purpose is painted by the backdrop of life. Yet if that backdrop is emptiness, then dreams are reduced to colorless, hollow shells. Bro. Uh, okay, wait, you told me to go back to this spot, right? Hold up. The sky, by the way, looks wild because of that. Limousine cinema? That's not what I wanted to see. Maybe I should have opened it and read it. She has separate lines for Firefly and Sam. She does. When Inventory was in the black hole talking about the mute and how the mute is now back on Pentacone, who do you think it now is? Firefly? Mm. 
slash Sam? I don't fucking know, dog. One look at him and she was able to describe even the type of weapon that he uses with the amount of knowledge she must be experienced in combat, but with her IRL condition, unless she's controlling Sam, she couldn't possibly have that much combat knowledge. Could agree with that. There is so much to process, to you guys. I genuinely... Like, wow. I don't even know how to process my thoughts and emotions in this moment. <laughs> Did you say something about this changed? I think it- Oh! You can almost see the entire dream's edge at a glance, okay? It's not an easy place to find. The person who introduced it to you truly values your friendship by sharing this view. You think back to the times you spent with her. All those cherished memories, but the one you'll never forget was the complex whirl of emotions when she first revealed her true identity to you. Was her past identity all just a ruse? Were those tears when she got stabbed all just an act? Is that being, that thing which fought while being covered in heated flames, who she really is? Doubt and confusion leave you discombobulated. After all, the line between what's real and what's false in this dreamscape is far more blurred than it seems. Gazing up at those tall towers before you, you lose yourself deep in contemplation. <sighs> What the hell, man? How do you compare this to 2.0? I think they did really, really well in this one. I actually think I like this one more than 2.0 because they really made me build a deep connection with Aventurine. And this is why I said I wanted to wait until the end of the story before making complete judgment on if it felt like they were going off track because they really did tie it all together in the end, right? I think next, my predictions for next patch are that they'll go more into the Gallagher death thing. Uh, they'll go more into what the fuck is going on with Sunday Robin and whatever. Um, and the real like secret behind Pentagoni even more, right? The Watchmaker's legacy. I think they might bring in the Watchmaker and the Dream Maker. I think that's what he was called. I think they'll bring that in a little bit more. Maybe, perhaps, perchance. That is definitely a possibility. Um, what else? And I swear, dude, like, listen. Oh, Boot Hill? Boot Hill will definitely come into play. Remember, Boot Hill called uh, Black Swan by accident? Or not by accident, but you know. Boot Hill <sighs> and Black Swan um, talking about uh, Acheron. So I don't think things are over with this girly pop either. Um, what else? Um, Misha, we haven't fucking seen Misha. Where the hell is that girly pop? Like, what is going on with him? There's just so much. There's literally just so much. I... I... Cannot believe... The way that they just dropped two bombs on us, like, real quick after all of that stuff went down. And they were like, peace, dude. I'll see you next patch. Like, all right. Uh, also, the fact that Gallagher, I'm so glad I read that list, bro. Even though it didn't mean anything into me and anything to me in the moment, he was all of those things combined was kind of wild. I'm so excited to see Boot Hill. I am so, so, so excited. Dream Master, that's what it was. Thank you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And Clocky says something new at the statue. Really? Let's go see. Oh, man. End of didn't translate Gallagher as a follower Even of Enigmata, so probably more Aeon stuff. Wait, every really? Touch, every moment is like a thorn. Wait, 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 wait. Where do you see that? What is this follower of Enigmata business that you're talking about, sir? Did I miss something? Have you noticed that the dialogue from the characters you heard when you first met Akron are slowly being said in the story? Only Robin, Sunday, Sam, and Silverwolf remain? Wait, what do you mean? I don't, I'm not sure I understand what you're getting at. Sorry, sorry. Celeron hunters are dope. I agree. Sunday calls him that in the CN. He does? Oh, in CN NJP. Wait. 
Hold on a minute. Oh, you said the end of. I literally thought you were talking about myself. That's crazy. Follower of Enigmata. But what exactly what does that mean? What exactly does that fucking mean? TikTok, my best friend, the day I've been eagerly anticipating has finally arrived. Since your arrival in Dreamville, this place has completely changed. The clock credits you contributed have brought energy and vitality to every res resident. TikTok, I've realized something, my great friend. I desired for the townspeople to acknowledge and recognize me, but now it seems it's not as significant as I once believed. After meeting you, I finally realized that cherishing my friends is the most important thing to do. Hamsterball Knight, Brother Hanu, Miss No, and you, N, TikTok. You are all my che most cherished treasures, the most beloved inhabitants of Dreamville. Thank you so much for your contributions. The next time you touch the statue, keep your eyes wide open and watch closely because I have a huge, a tremendous surprise in store for you. Oh? Why the long face, buddy? Cheer up! TikTok! Oh boy! I've eaten too much this time! Oh my lordy lord. Oh, I got another copy of that light cone. Wait, he's gold now. The meme is a product of Enigma Enigmata, don't forget. I see. Oh, he's a follower of an Eon. Okay, okay, okay. I know, like, where the hell is Misha, guys? Oh, man, guys. What the fuck? I'm gonna be so honest with you guys, dude. There's so much information to process that I... Don't even know what's left and right anymore, I feel like. Like, what? Like, what? I... <sighs> hmm. I feel a lot of things. I'm feeling a lot of things. A lot, a lot of things. I'm feeling a lot, a lot, a lot of things. The story was so good. Listen, all in all... All in all, right, I, I, like, regardless of the fact that my brain simply cannot handle all of the fucking bombs they just dropped on me, the quest was really good. The quest was really, really good. I don't think I was expecting them to go that deep into a Venturine story in the quest, but I'm not upset that they did because I, I think that this is what might be good about uh, Firefly slash Sam. In the future now because remember when when they killed off fire well killed off firefly at the time i wasn't like super upset about it like not that i wasn't upset obviously it's not like i want her to die okay don't get me wrong but i was like i don't know her that well like we didn't really go into her backstory i don't have that emotional connection to her so i couldn't get super emotional when she was like you know taken away right obviously it was shocking but i didn't feel like that pull, right? But I think in this patch, in this story, them going more into what Eventerine like went through and like his whole process behind this entire debacle, whatever you want to call it, gives you more of that connection to him to feel like, oh, this is actually really meaningful. And the nice thing now with Firefly is that girly pop is she's still here. Okay. Like she's not actually gone. She's uh uh, she's Sam, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> she's fucking Sam. So now it's okay that I didn't mourn her death because she's still here. And I can probably learn more about her, okay? Um, and hopefully she won't die this time because she's Sam. So, Venturine is the go. I agree. Yo, Venturine has been through so much, okay? And now, like, this is the thing with Sunday. I feel like Sunday and Robin, I need an explanation, Okay. If they're going to be playable, I need a little bit more of an explanation on what the hell is going on with them. And I'm really hoping that we get it in the next patch because Robin is about to be playable. Okay, so hopefully we get some answers. Next patch. Yeah, and Gallagher is a four star and he fucking... Uh, Gallagher is a four star and you're telling me he's wielding death? I am 13. Okay. Oh, man, I don't know, guys. Whatever, all right? The quest was freaking great, but I don't know where I am anymore. So, GG's, gamers.